Now I'm pissed. Alright, McConnell, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna say, you did what? Use his dodge action preemptively. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just, I don't wanna die. Alright. Guys, it's been a while for those of you that have joined us. Thank you so much. We're glad to have you. My name's Riku, and I'm the DM of this campaign. But what does that mean? These players control everything about their characters. But then what do I, what do, I do? I control the world. From the rocks to the trees, to their friends and their foes to everything that they'll see and everything that they'll know. But I'm no one scary or anything. I'm not trying to get them thrown back and into a pit till they choke and die again. No, I'm not gonna do anything of the sort. I'm just a humble storyteller. And what a story these folks have been brewing for you today. Last we left off, the group was in the middle of a festival where the mushroom people, the Myconids, their entire circle was welcoming these fine, fine heroes who are going to go to war with a strange creature that's been hounding them, hunting them, and threatening their lives as they explore this cavernous expanse underground. But for one reason or another, they decided to take some, uh, take a little bit of a detour, jumping down to this pit where noxious gases fill their lungs and momentar momentarily raw them of consciousness where they began to see visions. After a while, they decided to go in together, but what they saw was useful, confusing, frightening. I don't know. That's not my call to make. I'm gonna do the rest of the recap as we get the players to start to RP with each other. But other than that, are you guys ready to roll some dice? Yes. Yeah. Hell yeah. 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 All right. So now I'm going to go. There's McConnell. Oh, McConnell is stealthing. Well, actually, hold on. Is McConnell conscious again? Because that's the first thing. Uh, I'm, I'm unconscious. Oh, okay. You were so quiet. <laughs> okay. it's real plain. I thought you were muted. No. <laughs> okay. So when you guys were down sharing this hallucination, uh, McConnell did not want to go down with you into the pit, uh, but due to some gentle coercion, uh, with some help from your Mykonid friends over here, you were able to get him down, where he proceeded to become very violent. And uh, you guys knocked him out. Uh, you tried to bring him back to try to talk to him. Uh, you knocked him out again, and uh, then you just left him unconscious for the entirety of last session. Uh, so that's that was McConnell's uh, recap. Uh, any questions? Good. Uh, oh. Uh, but that being said, while he was unconscious, he didn't get to really experience a lot of the other things that you did. So we'll see how you guys RP that and what actually happens. But uh, while this is Bird's, uh, sorry, Burn's third time. So Tortimus was in there seeing a lot of stuff, was seeing these creepy things happen, was seeing this shadow of a large creature that has been hunting you guys come up again and again. That ceased to say, this keeps on repeating strange and honestly... Kind of confusing things saying stuff like grow strong feed me and i will set you free take care of my brother take care of my sister and at one point tortoise tried to interact with this creature and inside this hallucination the creature stole some of his powers which was quite odd but upon leaving the dream he got them right back so there was nothing uh, nothing that was lost you guys continued going deeper and deeper into the dream and you chased what seemed to be a little bit of a loot goblin that was carrying this large glowing teal sword that seems to be coursing with some kind of magical power. Uh, you guys talked to it for a little bit uh, before uh, beating the shit out of it and uh, taking its loot along with a lot of the gold that was pouring onto the ground which went into Rodney's bag of holding which of course disappeared because it was a dream. But upon looking at the sword, uh, it was about to go uh, to the uh, member of this party that's been doing a great job safekeeping your rarest loot uh, before he started to get some bad vibes about it, realizing it may be possessed. Uh, by trying to get McConnell to use this greatsword, which McConnell loves using, uh, 
he found that this thing was indeed possessed, and this sword knocked Craig unconscious, blowing to the feet of Keck. Keck had the dream whisper to her, and was able to ask some questions, this time choosing to try to figure out what exactly was this creature, Journey's End, this guttling horror that looks very similar to Junior, a little changeling shape-shifting creature that's been hanging around with the party the entire time. And for her trouble, she was able to see a vision and some groaning words, four graves, one birth. She saw a vision of a mushroom person being mixed with all kinds of things until it looked like a monstrosity of some sort. That was like phase one of an experiment, one of four graves. It was merged with an undead warrior that seemed to have been brought back with some kind of necromancy or some kind of magic, which was phase two as the two were merged into a crystalline golem, the likes that they have been fighting against uh, this entire campaign so far, far for phase three. And finally, it was given a pilot, a well-preserved corpse of a human being that suspiciously resembled McConnell, finally creating Journey's End, the fourth grave. But why is it able to change forms just like Keck? Why is it hunting them? How can it steal powers? And what does it truly want? Well, these questions were not answered, but Keck did share this information with the party because the mushroom people are looking at them eagerly. The mushroom people want to know what this party will do next so they can try to help. Now, of course, it's been a while. So if you have any other questions or anything else you'd like me to recap, please let me know what I can do for you. How the hell does my guy talk? Uh, it depends. Uh, if you're talking to uh, just no, like I mean, people. Yeah, like, <laughs> what the hell is my voice like when I, <laughs> I play Craig? I, I, I can't do a good Craig, dude. You look, like, what's poppin', guys? Like, it's, uh... Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> good. Yeah. <laughs> What's yeah. pop? What's it's like guys? it's like it's like uh, one of the guys from Rick and Morty had a stroke and his like lip hangs down a little bit. <laughs> it reminds me of what's his face from is it Litter Kenny? Oh, Trailer Park Boys. Uh, I think you're talking about Trailer, trailer Park, Park, Park Boys, Boys. Yeah, yeah, Bubbles yeah, or whatever. Bubbles. Yeah. Yeah. Right, it's me, Craig. Hey. Yeah. But when you talk to goblins, you have like a very, very, very different voice. Like a very, well, very goblin voice. <laughs> All right. Anything else before we get the clock ticking again? Nah. All right. So. Go ahead and transition. So the game is unpaused. Cool. You guys can continue moving around. So you guys have gotten a little bit of chance to rest because you guys just kind of like passed out, got a little bit of time to kind of recover your bearings. This was a very physically taxing experience being in the pit one more time. It was just a lot of mental stimulus and physical draining. You guys probably shouldn't go back in there again. I think we, we did uh, we did say that last time. Uh, but the mushroom people do kind of understand this and you can see that they're, they're going to start to try to make some... Uh, uh, make some room because Grub Grub does want to speak. Friends, I am ashamed we could not do our drinking contest, but you must share with me what have you seen? What shall we do next? He's going to glance around and he's going to try to make eye contact with the first person that speaks. Um, well, uh, I think we've got a problem, right? Yeah, I'm hungry. No, not that kind of problem, dude. Oh, oh, they're hungry. They're hungry. Uh, Shub. Go, go get the flying fairy some food. Ooh. With another word, uh, Shab is just gonna kind of disappear out into the background. Uh, is there, is there anything else you need? Oh, does that food come with some drink? Oh, uh, 
I we could tr we could get you some water, but I'm afraid it is not very clean. Uh, you could try drinking this this slop, but it is you have just you must have had a an experience down there. Are you? Are, I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can drink the spore drink. Ooh, okay, I'll try it. Okay. Okay. He's going to hand you what seems to be this mug filled with a green liquid that is slowly bubbling. Not because it's hot, but because it's releasing some sort of dissolved gases. The smell is thick and it is slightly putrid, but slightly sweet, if not sickeningly so. Uh, are you gonna are you gonna try to take a drink? Oh yeah. Right. Oh yeah. A DC twelve Constitution saving throw. Yeah. At thirteen up to a nineteen. As you start to drink this, you can feel that it uh, it's it, it is bubbling very slowly, but it's not <laughs> particularly fizzy. It definitely is uh kind of coating your voice. It's uh. It could be very helpful for a singer. Uh, it does leave a little bit of a burning sensation in your throat as it goes down, and in your stomach it feels like the liquid itself is swirling, almost as if it's turning to goo, but not actually. I want to, it... like, drink it, but I want it to be like somebody drinking, like, pudding or something like that, where it's so thick, and it's like I'm ch I'm trying to chug it, but it's it's taking, like, a long time, and it's taking, like, a, like a, a really long time, and it's becoming awkward. And then I'll, as soon as I polish it off, I want to have it like all over my face and like I smile at everybody. And it's all over my teeth and everything. And like, hmm, <laughs> that was delicious. Was it? A uh, shop is gonna come back and ah! hand back what seems to be some dried some dried mushrooms. Doesn't seem to be made of myconids, though. As a hand to Grub Grub, who also offers them to you. Here, we... I'm not particularly familiar with what you overlanders eat, uh, but please try some of these dried mushrooms. Uh, there's a little bit of goblin jerky. Uh, you can... Uh, it, it's... Uh, please have what you wish. But, but tell okay. me, what did you see? Um, more of that weird figure. Oops. <laughs> Is that what you're asking? The figure, yes. Y you said this was, you said that you were going there to find a way to win. Yes, uh, it appears this creature wants to be fed. Fed what? I don't know, maybe you guys? Uh, I mean, it lurks within this domain, correct? Hmm. Or maybe what? you're keeping it from getting what it wants. What did you see it do? Perhaps some of our scouts may have some information. As he says the word scouts, you can see off to the side a spore servant, which seems to be a reanimated corpse of something strung together by Mikey fibers, who begins to approach. Did you see anything like this? It's been a while. I don't think I remember seeing something like that. Uh, <laughs> am I wrong? Yeah, I, no, I think we saw two of these down there. That was the very first time, like when I remember the, the Goblin King vision, when me and when me and Burn went down there. I think. Uh, wait. I thought it was just the Goblins when oh, you. Oh wait, and I no, went it down. was just the Goblins. Sorry, that was, uh, maybe it was the second one. I swear we saw these things down there. I think. Yeah. Was it in like the forest part? Yes, I think. Dirt. I just don't think we paid notice to it. Yeah, it was like <laughs> north of where the Goblins were, like uh, before the river, but like more yeah. north. Okay, I just <laughs> need to refresh. Uh, yes, um, that's not the only thing we saw, but we definitely saw something like that. Mm. We, Mykonids, are not able to listen to the whispers of the deep. 
We cannot hear it. We cannot see the dreams and memories that you have seen. The best we can do is try to piece things together. But I've heard for some others that have traveled through here that it provides visions of the past of memories. And you told me it said it could show you the future. Yes. Did you... Did you see the snail? And of course, uh, we're doing this so we can refresh your memory, so feel free to ask questions. Yeah, uh, <laughs> again, the, it's been so long, I, I don't remember if the snail was involved. The last thing I remember was being like going down like a vortex in the dream. Her? And then we woke up. I think it was an enemy first. It was like a, a big goblin with all the little goblins on his back. Mm -hmm. And then it turned into the like junior model. Mm. All right. Yes, I think uh, that uh, you did see some planes back from the original prequel series that are on YouTube uh, that um, uh, you did see this creature doing this little tug of war thing. It kind of replayed this conflict between Mikey Nids and goblins one more time. This is when this is when Craig got back some of his more goblin powers at the expense of some of his cognitive faculties and his wizard abilities. So he became a little bit dumber, uh, but became more powerful instead. What? That's right. So you did see this. How's that possible? <laughs> yeah, he can get dumber. So, oh. yep. We, we did see it. It was during one of the first visions with Craig. Isn't that right, Craig? Yeah, I, I think so. I don't fucking know, man. Sure. And you say you interacted with this creature that has been hunting us. What did you see it would do? Like, what did the whispers tell you? Uh, like I said, it wanted to be fed. Mm. It needed more. More. It needed... It needed more. Yes. I must disclose to you. That creature does not hunt our flesh to eat. But we have noticed some of this aberrant magic coursing through these caverns. These orange sparklies and these blue sparklies. It seems to target us if we get too close. Ah, yes, we've encountered that ourselves. We've kind of combined the sparklies before. But none of you have any sparklies right now. Oh, no. Hmm. Is, well, is there anyone here that knows magic? I mean, Craig. No, I don't think of, so. Uh, not anymore, but... I don't think so. Uh, perhaps me and uh, the sleepy one over there. I don't know if we have some sort of spore that can wake this guy up. Hmm. Um, well, I usually have spores that can push people to sleep. Uh, I, I could try the opposite. Yeah, sure. I feel like if I were to wake him up, he would just be more agitated and I'd get thrown in the pit. So if it's from you, maybe, uh, maybe it'll be a bit easier. Perfect. Could you, uh, could you please step to the side? I will try my best. He's going to, he's going to try to like squeeze in a little bit, like, like, like right here. He's going to get right up uh, uh, to McConnell. He's going to put mm -hmm. uh, one tendril that seems to be dripping with some kind of glandular fluid as some spores start to emit and he's gonna just begin slapping McConnell very gently very gently and he's gonna be like wake up wake up wake up uh, uh, really uh, slapping him around uh, uh, oh. Uh, uh, oh. back keep going keep hitting him uh, okay well, stop stop I keep hitting him hey oh. big guy oh, stop. Oh, it's you. You're finally awake. Right, Hit him again. Okay. No, stop. Ugh. Oh, our, um, we're, we're going to go ahead and remove your unconscious modifier. Where How is he? Are you? Where is he? Where is who? 
I see Tortimus slinking <laughs> on Grub Grub. I'm trying to hide behind Grub Grub. All right, this, Tortimus, could you give me a stealth check, please? Uh, yeah, I could give one of those. Oh, God. And McConnell, could you contest with a perception check? Really? But is that too close? <laughs> is that too close, or do I? Is it like higher number, better person? It's a, 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 a the it's a contested skill check. So if we're to take the okay. ten Tortimus as uh, succeeding. Uh, so Tortimus uh, hears McConnell's voice and uh, just instantly starts to scuttle behind the large figure of Grub Grub, who seems to release puffs of spores because he's quite happy uh, that McConnell is uh, is back up into consciousness. He's he has no idea what beef you guys have. He has no idea what happened in this uh, in this dream. Uh, so he's very happy to see McConnell. And the puffs of smoke create a little bit layer of like obscurement. Uh, thus McConnell starts glancing around. Uh, he coughs a little bit because he's you know he's been asleep for a while. And uh, as a result, McConnell's just not able to see exactly where Tortimus is. How long you think you can hide for, buddy? Are you saying that? No, I'm saying that OOC. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Oh, there we go. <coughs> Coughs heavily. Oh. Uh, McConnell, are you okay? Gets out sword. Quickly. Quickly oh, gets out sword. Oh, oh, what are you doing? Are you baiting me? I thought maybe you were injured. Anyways, why do you have your sword out? Faces, uh, Tortimus. Glares. Are you going to say anything? The reason you're up right now is because of me, and I don't get a single keeps, thank you. You just glaring. draw a sword keeps and you glaring. stare at me. Keeps glaring. Uh, holds you know my what? sword out. Holds my sword out. <laughs> Why is at he you. smiling while he glares at you? <laughs> He's giggling. <laughs> Why are you giggling? Are you okay? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. You're kind of. You're kind of smiling. <laughs> puts are you a, Puts the tip of the sword on your chest. <laughs> whoa, 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 there! Please relax, big guy. Listen, it's, it takes a lot to penetrate my shell. You should have aimed for the head. But that's neither here nor there. Yeah. Well, guess what? It doesn't take much to penetrate your mother. What does my mother what have to do with any of this? What the hell? At least I knew my mother. Ooh. I did too, right? I don't know. It's it's an, it's I don't know your lore. It's in my I don't know your it's lore. In my lore. I know my parents. Okay, then tell me about your parents that you know so much. <laughs> it's in my lore. I know my parents. All right, tell me about your parents. <laughs> <laughs> I. My, I had loving, I had a loving family before they, sh I but was you, educated. But you're a formula baby. <laughs> <laughs> what were your, what were your parents' names? John and Jane. <laughs> I, and they, oh. they came up with McConnell. They didn't keep up with the J's in the family. No. Okay. Were they were they paladins as pushes well? Pushes the tip, pushes the tip harder <laughs> and against Ooh. your shell. Oh, I'm sorry. Is the p word a little much for you? No more questions, fucking okay. turtle. Oh, my bad. What what is happening? Like I, I do not understand Grub, what Grub. type of ritual this is. But it doesn't look very friendly, and it's the mushrooms are getting very stressed out. Do not worry. This is just a and you uh, and you points my weapon at Grub Grub. What are you doing? McConnell, stop. What the hell is down there? What the hell is that? What is what is going on here? You better you better tell me something. You better tell us all something. What's going on? What is that they, shit? They can't go it down. They don't they don't get to see the visions. But Calm they know down. what's down there. They know what's down there. Calm him down with a few slaps from your slimy tentacles. You slap me one more time, grub grub. <laughs> I will, I will unleash a holy vengeance upon you. I'm not going to slap you. You're, 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 you're the one threatening me. That's very true, Grub Grub. That's very true. Really but true. McConnell, could you give me an 
an intimidation check first. Okay. Uh, Torbenus, go ahead and finish. Oh, man. Oh, um... Can we just get back to the task at hand? We're talking about the things we saw. We saw the snail. We saw this reanimated figure. Um, we saw a goblin king. Some visions of the past. And some things maybe yet to come. Some things that might impact the present. I mean, Craig, uh, he was, to be quite frank, he was intellectually inept to begin with. And ever since he's woken up, I feel like it's gotten worse. I'm the smartest one here. <laughs> Why are you guys so there's something, there's something powerful in those dreams. I, I, I mean, I thought I had lost some powers, but I, I woke up and I think I'm all right. All right. Perfect, because I didn't want that role to interrupt uh, your guys' role play. But Grub Grub is going to be taken a little bit of back at McConnell's just raw aggression. All right, he rolled up to a, a 17 plus 3 to a 20. And Grub Grub is going to start to speak, and you're going to hear from behind you, McConnell, Frog, the mushroom that you guys found a little bit earlier, this little myconid spider hybrid creature, says, Grub Grub, you need to tell them. And then uh, at the moment he says that, uh, Rump, one of the other machinids, is going to push Shrug back down to the ground, saying, Silence of automation. And they're going to like kind of like gang up on him a little bit and kind of intimidate him and push him out. Uh, uh, oh. Okay. There's... There's something you should know about the Whispers of the Deep. It, the whispers have been here longer than we have, but the reason why we live so close to it is because the air around it is toxic. You were having so much fun, I, I did, I didn't know what to tell you. But you have seen and heard the whispers of the deep. You have gained knowledge. But I fear if you are not careful, you will lose something else very important. Right. The other markets are in a kind of get close to Grub Grub as if there's some kind of subconscious command that's being distributed through their network. Getting ready to back him up. But McConnell, how would you respond? Hmm. I lower my sword slightly. A little bit more. Alright. Because I'm just, at this point, I'm just kind of listening. Okay. It's, um, yeah, Grub Rub is going to continue in that case. Yeah, go ahead. This pit that you leaped into, we can experience none of it because we are immune to its poisons. But we did have some visitors much earlier that fled this place. They said something in some language I did not understand, but they were heavily armed. I don't know what they wanted with it, but they were quite afraid of it. But looking at you, you guys seem perfectly healthy after jumping down there. In fact, you guys look like you, you were enjoying it. You were shouting and reveling with each other as you threw one another into this pit. It was almost like what they say about some of you overworlders. You, you swim in rivers and oceans, even though you cannot breathe. It is unthinkable to me. And at this point, I'm, I, I, uh, I'm looking down while listening, but then I look back up and I raise my sword again back up, like the tip, and I, I, uh, I say, uh, 
tell me what they look like. The the visitors. Well, I don't, I don't understand. What did they look like? Yes, who were they? Did they say anything to you? Did you meet them? They look just like you. Like all of us? Uh, no. I have a twin? No, they look, they all look like, oh, the word you can be plural or single. No, no. We they all look have twins? Just like uh -huh. him. And he's going to point directly at McConnell. Whoa, you have a twin. <laughs> I lower my sword again. They came from a different trail than you emerged from. And they went off deeper into the caverns. He's going to use his spores and he's going to offer to show you a quick vision. Would you expect, uh, would you accept this? Yes. All right. Uh, he's... You feel that your mind starts to open as the boundaries that keep your consciousness separate from the rest of the world around you start to waver and shimmer like hot oil in a pan that's just getting ready to fry some food. And that boundary, as it starts to waver, you feel like it's connecting with Grub Grubs. And he's going to show you some memories of people that do indeed look very similar to you. Well, not exactly Asimars, but a mix of humans and some other humanoids. Some are carrying great swords, some are carrying long swords and shields, others are carrying bows and arrows, but they're wearing very similar armor to you. They look like paladins from your area of Cyrosa. And you can see on one of them, there is an insignia. Something that you recognize as some loot you may have pulled into your inventory before. And you can kind of cut off the vision there. Did that... did that help? Hmm. How come you guys are holding hands? Oh, holding... holding hands? Kiss him. Kiss! Kiss him. Do it. What is kissing? Get it, McConnell. It's kind of like this. You just get really close and you just plant a kiss on him. Mm -hmm. Did you? Who'd you kiss? Sorry, Sorry McConnell. Uh, grub grub. grub. Oh, <laughs> Not <God>. you. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> uh, grub grub is gonna uh, is gonna like look a little bit confused and be like. Oh, mighty fairy warrior, you have taught me another custom of the overworlders. You have my thanks. Okay. Do you want more food? Yeah! All right. Um, uh, Shab is just going to go uh, disappear back into whatever larder he crawled from. And he's going to go ahead and get you a little bit more food. He seems to be pretty amenable uh, in terms of answering your questions or getting you guys any resources that you need. Uh, but he's going to turn it back to uh, McConnell uh, because he did ask you a question. Did that help? Mm. I'm going to show him this. Mm. Yes. Yes. This is, this is what I mean. You, you must know them. Well, no. No, we... I found this, and and then I turn around and I point to Shrug. We found it in his house. All right, he's gonna... Uh, Shrug's gonna try to get closer to you. Uh, both of the other mushrooms are gonna be holding him back away from the rest of you, kind of creating a little barrier of safety. And Shrug is gonna say, he does not lie, Grub Grub. He does not lie. That, that was one of my friends that carried that sign. 
Grubber was going to look a little bit uncomfortable. Kind of glancing at this other mic in its withered form, just dripping with some kind of green icor. The seven eyes on its face blinking, not in unison. And it's going to kind of cringe a little bit as if he's still horrified just looking at what happened to this Mykonid. And he's going to say, If this... If this is not one of you, and you came from somewhere else, I... What would you like us to do? Do you want to... Do you want to find them? Are they... Are they friends? Are they foes? Do you think they might know about the orange and blue swirlies? But they're dead. No. Or at least one of them is. Why, why, why do you say that? Well, Pathlings don't just abandon their friends. I mean, that's what you do all the time. So <laughs> I don't do that. I don't do that. Uh, you Other do, paladins though. don't abandon their friends. Willy nilly. Friend. <laughs> oh, we're just not his friends. Okay. <laughs> so, so this paladin must have either had a good reason to abandon, or the rest of his party died while he was fleeing. All right. So. You, we did already do a knowledge check a long time ago around this, so I'm not going to have you re-roll. You are correct. They, uh, paladins usually stick very, very, very tightly together. But also, Cyrosan paladins are a different breed than the paladins that come from Liveria, which is kind of the, I guess is the other type of paladin that you have in some of your other campaigns that are also named McConnell. But this is a very different flavor. This flavor is more chaotic. This flavor is, they still have oats, and the oats are extremely important, uh, but you weren't able to get too much more information about what that group actually could do, or why they may be here. So I'm not going to be able to give you that information, because that role has already been done, and we did actually add that information to the insignia. But, that being, oh, actually no, you were unconscious last session. Yeah. No, I can't. I can't ask for that role. That's that's perfectly fine. Damn it! Grub Grub is going to turn back uh, to the rest of the party and is going to ask. This warrior over here says that there are others like him who would not have abandoned his friend. Uh, I I am not sure who they are, but they were not violent at all. What do you, what do you all make of this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at Craig, who's just like turning around a little bit uh, on the map and looking. Craig is, Craig is no thoughts head empty. Oh God, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, maybe this strange figure we've been seeing is related to this. Perhaps the reason this paladin you found this insignia off of that was running away was he afraid? Was he was he being chased by this thing? Oh, are you asking that to Grub Grub or to McConnell? I guess both. All right. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't know because I. Oh, I mean. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna respond toward us toward Miss, and I'm gonna say, I don't know. We found him. In Shrug's house. All right. It does and, say uh, on the details. I guess a little meta, but it says he was experimented on in some way. So that was like no, you, you don't know that. You don't know that, dude. I'm not saying. I'm saying. I'm not saying I know that. But I'm saying was the body apparent? Like it was obvious that this paladin was. Oh yeah, he was fucked up. <laughs> okay. Wait, didn't we? Didn't I speak dead to this guy? Yes, uh, you did speak dead to that. This is, this is the one. The one that McConnell yeah. was also telling you guys not to do it, and he kind of did behind his back and, uh, and a bunch of stuff. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a, there, was a, there was a couple of bits of information, just to refresh your memories, that you got from it. Uh, that, that creature, or, well, it was 
it was a living creature, right? That was, uh, that kind of did its thing. It was separated from its, uh, it was separated from their party. Uh, they were captured and they were experimented on. And ultimately it was a horrifying, a very horrifying experience. It was not, it was not fun for Shrug. It was not fun for this creature. Uh, and they were able to escape. Uh, so Shrug and that other uh, Paladin and this other goblin-human hybrid uh, were on the run. And they eventually took shelter far away from all this chaos, which is when you guys met them, uh, when you guys nearly died, uh, when you guys were attacked by Journey's End, the big creature for the first time. Uh, Shrug did ask one question at the very end when you guys were kind of... You guys already used like your most important questions and asked that creature did you suffer and it was a uh, it was yes and uh the final thing that that uh thing said was words of very deep friendship something about not wasting food uh it seems like shrug ate some critical parts of both the goblin hybrid as well as that fallen undead palette and uh but that will be information that only shrug would know but i think Keck, mcconnell Cray, I think everyone who was there would know that because uh that frog didn't hide anything from you guys. Uh, but uh, I think Tortimus, you did say that a uh, question you asked was to McConnell as well as to Grub Grub. Uh, Grub Grub is going to kind of say the same thing. Uh, Grub Grub really doesn't know, but it's going to recount the same thing he had mentioned. Uh, they came here and they stayed away from this place uh, because they felt the air was extremely toxic. And they were, uh, they were not down to be anywhere near this pit. So they, they hightailed it right out of here. And Trug is going to say, Grub, Grub, you must trust them. You, Paladin, what, what would you like me to tell you? What do you need me to say so that you guys can be on your way? Hmm. Well, are there any... Fuck, dude. Because if we already did the knowledge check, there's not much I can ask. You can always try to ask new questions with the new information you've gained. There's a couple of things that you may have seen throughout the rest of this uh, of this campaign. And of course, you were unconscious. But if you do speak with your other party members and they're willing to help, perhaps there's something you can come to together. Okay. But only if you're willing to do so. I don't know. What are you going to do, McConnell? You've been pretty standoffish so far. I mean, obviously, this party's important. But I don't know, like, I don't know much about anything other than the Paladin. So, maybe... Can we ask Shrug, like... Did, did we ask him, like, if there's anybody else that the Paladin arrived with or that they, he saw? Uh, the dead one that you took this insignia from. That's it. Mm. Okay, yes. Uh, we'll say you asked that exact same question. Rug will say, We escaped from a room filled with crystals. Blue and orange. It was a horrifying place. I was mixed with a strange spider beast that walked on two legs and spit webs. We escaped. But... <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. You good? No. I'm mm. not good. The hell? I'm not good, which is why you need to hurry. We can't be dwaddling here. And Crump is going to, like, hit Shrug one more time just to try to keep him quiet. Because uh, Crump and Brock's two Mykonids, which did help you guys a lot earlier, uh, are, are, are just not down with Shrug. Why the fuck are they acting like this? <laughs> I will die soon. I ate them. Because there's something inside all of us. Does one of you have a knife? Oh shit, I don't have a knife. Anybody? Uh, oh yeah, Craig has the sun blade. Ooh, use that on him. Use it. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> Alright. I need you to make a very delicate cut. Right okay. here on my right side of the chest. Oh, never mind. You don't. You're going to kill him. Yeah, oh, don't, don't let him. Don't let him. A couple of inches thick. Very gently. 
Yep. Can you do Stop this? Stop him. Stop him. Yeah, okay. Can you do this, friend? Yeah, I guess I can do that. Or you want it somewhere on your body or whatever the hell? All right. Right here. Just a gentle, a very gentle cut. All right. Uh, do I need to check this against anything? Yes. Um, are you are you going to try to make a gentle cut to the oh, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Can, can I stop him? Can I stop him, please? You, you can he said him. he's going to be gentle. You can try, bitch. I, I want to intervene here. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, are you just trying to, like, grab the sword? I'm just trying to grab the knife. I, I changed my mind. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Oh, my God, dude. He's gonna Boy. kill him, and we're gonna be have no breadcrumb. Yeah, no, you're not wrong. What, you wanna do it? Yeah, that's fine. You fucking do it. I don't give a shit. I don't oh, okay. wanna do it. Right, I was just doing it because I had to, I thought. I didn't see no one else stepped up to the plane. I'm the only guy doing anything around here. I'm the hero of this story. Alright, stop yapping. Give me the fucking blade. Yeah, alright. Give him, I give him the blade. Yeah, alright, you have a sun blade, uh, which is looks like a hilt. So you press a button and it generates a grand beam of light uh i'm gonna need you to make a medicine check please and your dc is 14. it's been a lightsaber this whole time <laughs> the last... you fucking <laughs> killed him I, i'm just i'm no no i was that's me that's me oh, no no hold, no. On, hold on hold on hold on hold on <laughs> hold on hold on hold on hold on that's me just looking i'm just looking at the blade and seeing if it's the right blade well, for the Hold on, let's guy. listen to Riku. What were you? What was? What was he medicine checking for, Riku? Ah, uh, it's it says the word medicine on it. I don't think there's much I can do to help. Dog, you are you help. serious? Oh <laughs> no! So you oh, use yeah. uh, the lightsaber and you're trying to gauge uh, the distance of it, uh, but uh, you wield like great swords, uh, which are much bigger. You do not have any other weapons that use one hand. As a result, uh, you quite uh, deeply uh, misjudge the uh, length of the blade, and as the lightsaber kind of just bursts out to its own full extent, it just straight impales Shrug. Could you go ahead and make a sun blade attack, please? Oh, Shrug. no. He has seven. I'm not eight doing eight. that. Craig, Craig would have would have done this just fine. Yeah, can we? Can you we, had can to I, step in and kill him. You guys do a medicine. Do a, I want to. I'm curious. Yeah, I was gonna say you guys want to see what your medicine quick is. Medicine roll. He, he would have died. He would have died. Was that a kill? It's a, it's a, well, he but, is um, already not looking too hot. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and just apply the damage. Oh, there you go. Oh, <laughs> really got it. oh, oh my god. Okay, okay can I? Yep. What's up, Kek? Oh, no. <laughs> no, don't waste your healing spells, please. <laughs> don't. You have, like, two. Heal <laughs> me. Them. No, no, no. Use them. No, no. No, no. Please use them. Please. Heal me. I think I got a rash. Fuck off. We need everything we need. They can use their own resources. We have such finite resources. They can feed him like a mushroom or something like that. He'll be fine. <laughs> okay. uh, all right. So uh, first, let me go apply McConnell's damage really fast. See how much he would have done. Nope. You want me to do it? Uh, yes, though. Yeah, I you think, uh... do it. Oh, there we go. Oh, perfect. he's okay. He's okay. He's okay. He's perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank God McConnell's he's perfect. weak. <laughs> <laughs> so we had... Uh... We had four oh, damage, uh, but you healed him to eight. So uh, right as that blade goes into Shrug, uh, Kek, you immediately pop a heal, just a flash heal. Uh, you see that, like, uh, this is not going to be good. And uh, you're able to stabilize Shrug immediately. As the um, as the blade is now in Shrug, you can see that the the uh, the healing magic is just, like, causing his Mykonin flesh to just grow back and almost wrap around the, uh, the, uh, the lightsaber. Uh... Or the sun blade, I guess. Uh, Shrug doesn't realize anything went wrong. He has no idea how close he came uh, to just death. Uh, I I got a quick question. Yes, what's up? Does he count as an undead? Shrug does not count as undead. Okay. Is there just... something like a spider or an arachnid or something? Yes, there's some kind okay. of arachnid hybrid type thing that's going on. But it was the other... Um, uh, the other paladin that you guys looted uh, looted back at Shrug's home, that was the one that counted as undead. Okay. That's a great question. Uh, but Shrug seems to be uh, surprised at this approach, but is very pleased with the result and does not realize how close he came to death and is going to be like, yes, now just move it a little bit more and... Um, no way. Make... 
You don't need to make another check for this. Uh, we already resolved the check. The course of failure, the price of failure was just dealing damage and potentially killing him. So you guys, you guys solved it. So uh, with Peck giving a little bit of healing to kind of cover up this wound as McConnell causes it, he's able to reveal something in his chest. You can see something that looks almost like a device. It almost looks like it is a pump. I'll reach something... in and grab it. Oh, oh, be very careful. Uh, be very careful. Don't pull that out or I will actually die. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Never mind. This is very similar <gasps> to what you have. Uh, is a, uh, you, you, a, it, it beats. Uh, we, my kids, we do not have one. But if you lose yours, you will die. This is. I'll poke it gently. I'll poke it gently. Oh, you can poke it. You can go ahead and poke it a little bit. Uh, could you give me either a religion or an arcana check? Um. I gotta stop rolling. I'm done. How do you roll a zero? Holy I'm done. Shit. I'm done. I thought a one was the lowest possible roll. Bro, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> a, wow. a one minus one to a zero. <laughs> yeah, this looks like uh, some and you trust religion. Who needs to screenshot this? That's a new close <laughs> score. Paladin dude. religion check. <laughs> dude, that, you know what? Actually, I, I, I want to I want to bring attention to that. Why is my religion as a paladin minus one? He literally goes. You're what is why, religion? Why, why, why? That doesn't make any sense. That <laughs> makes no sense. Who right, made I, my character sheet? <laughs> you did. You did. I, there's no way I made that. I wouldn't choose minus one religion. That's a, we were, uh, well, you're we're, a minus one paladin, huh? so it's okay. That's crazy. I Damn, like dude. to think more positively that you wanted to play a challenge. That's a uh, plus one RP. Yeah. Oh my god. Whatever. But, um... Looking at this uh, at this pump, uh, you you notice that there's some carvings on it uh, that seem to be gilded and what seems to be gold foil. Uh, but uh, you're not really sure if you've ever seen anything like it before, so you can't glean any additional information of that. But Shrug is going to continue speaking to you. This this pump needs a fluid. When I ate my friends, I didn't eat their flesh or sustenance. I could get what I needed from the ground. I'm, I'm still a myconid. But this uh, device, this device needs that fluid. Without the fluid, I will die and all my knowledge will be lost. If you can gather some more of these, I'll be willing to help all of you, even you, Grub Grub, even though you reject me, because I was once one of your circle. So please, I've seen you fighting among yourselves, throwing each other into this pit. I've seen you try to attack each other. But realize you can only do so because you have the luxury of life and the luxury of health, knowing that you can be okay. But please, I do not have much time. And I fear that if this carries too long, you will not have too much time either. And after that, Crump is just going to hit Shrug one more time uh, with his fist, and, and, and that's it. Okay, you know what? After seeing him hit, I'm gonna hit Crump. I'm gonna I'm gonna melee him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch him. All right, go ahead and make an unarmed uh, unarmed strike attack. And it's Crump, this one right here. You can just choose him as a target. A nine does not hit. As, I'm standing uh, right next to him. <laughs> the moment you uh. Uh, you do that, you can see that uh, uh, Crump uh, was starting to turn to you in order to say something, uh, but it's caught with your fist. 
The fish sinks into a bit of fleshy myconid uh, flesh and doesn't seem to connect and deal any damage. But he does recognize that that was uh, an aggressive maneuver. And he's like, wait, why are you trying to hit me? Stop hitting Shrug, now. <laughs> no more hitting. Why are you protecting this abomination? He's not an abomination. He helped us. Jackass. Crumpet is going to look at Brox, and then Crump and Brox are going to both look at Grub Grub. Grub Grub's going to speak. I... I don't know. That mushroom is corrupted. How can you trust him? I mean, he helped us get here. Why would he help us get here if not to do something good? What What the hell? He's. It's not like he's a, a crazy mushroom that doesn't want to help. He hasn't made any any attacks towards you. He's not been aggressive towards you. So either back the fuck off, or me and my entire party is going to destroy you. Yeah. Treat him with a little respect. Well, he hasn't said anything threatening, but you are the one saying something threatening. How he do does have know? a point. How do I know? He does not, he did not bring you here on purpose. I cannot connect with this Mykonid anymore. We can no longer meld our consciousness. I have no way of verifying the truth. Look, I'm going to teach you an important lesson before we set out. It's called trust. And that's what me and my party have formed with each other. That is the bond we have created. It's called trust. Grub Grub is going to stand up a little bit straight and is uh, just going to rotate around a little bit and just look around. At the party that's just sitting around him and he's gonna say do you have this trust G guys look Hello? i guess man there's right, that mcconnell fine, yeah, there's you. a little Thank bit you. there okay <laughs> thanks right. appreciate that hey, hey, you know. fucking idiot yes totally this I stuff is delicious I'm sorry, but I Come have on, to. Come on, man. I, your subconscious tried to murder all of us. You think we're just going to forget that? I didn't do that. Yeah, all right. This guy's pointed a sword at me. He despises me. And for some reason, I still feel like we could be friends. You really think so? He's my best friend in the world. Yeah, I think so. Everybody has their flaws. Yeah, I guess. Listen, Tortellini, if I wanted you dead, I would have done it already. I am much too hard <laughs> yeah, of a you worker. You couldn't kill me. I saw how you handled that one sword that Craig gave you. I don't think you could kill me. But, whew, again, let's focus on the task at hand, right? Why are you staring at me? Runs over. <laughs> oh, what is it? Friend. Don't you say you trust us? That you wouldn't abandon us? And so speaking Yet of you're trust... you're the one listen, that wants listen, to point a sword at down. me all the time. You calm down. Oh, I'm I need calm to down. calm down. I you're the one calm. that wants to throw me in the pit, wrestles me, tries to stab my chest... It was just a little threat. Oh, oh, just a little threat. Just a widow one. What is a widow? <laughs> You're so dumb. <laughs> Listen, we've got bigger fish to fry. What, what the hell is that supposed to mean? I'm a, I'm a, I'm not a fish. 
Yeah, dude, tell what are we doing? All right, I turn back to Grub Grub. Hey, you're already facing him, dum dum. Yeah, yeah, no, I was facing you, and then now I'm facing him. Well, we're both right next to each other. Yeah, but I was facing you, and now I'm facing him directly. Yeah, so if you're facing me, he's in your peripheral. No, no, now my body. I'm, t I'm saying my body is facing him. Do you get that? You understand oh, how directions so, so work? You, so you could do like this. <laughs> yeah. Turn. You just keep eating, huh? All right. Anyways, go back. <laughs> do whatever you John's want. John's not enough. No, you're muted. <laughs> oh, we were muted. <laughs> uh, just eating. All right. So. Grub Grub does not seem particularly convinced uh, at the display oh, of friendship God in front of him. But Grub Grub is going to issue is going to let out some attention and is going to offer a command. Crump and Brox are going to step aside and allow Shrug uh, to just continue to approach. Yeah, that's right, bitch. I didn't say that. I didn't. I'm not saying that. Whoa! <laughs> what the hell? All right. So now Shrug has uh, has kind of come up to you and is gonna address uh, the party once more. Thank you. I understand, Grub Grub. You are a very wise leader, but to understand the fear you must feel by no longer being able to meld with me and to connect with me as one of your own. But I can offer. A little bit of knowledge. Yes, let's go. Before I was hunted and captured, I was a tinkerer. I was a tinkerer much like this fellow pointing at Rodney. Oh! Yeah, all right. If you bring me some of these devices, some of these crystals I can try to fashion for you things that may help you on your journey but it will be perilous because I have seen the closer and closer you get to this crystalline infestation the more the more dangerous it becomes so we will need to start smaller and build our way up but but you you warrior do you have that, that, that heart of that big creature that you fought? The, the, the big, the big boss. The, it was a, it was like a crystal heart. Would you trust it, entrust it with me? Are you going to hand it over, McConnell? Are you going to trust him? I'm going to take a vote. I'm going to take an OOC vote for my team. What? Do, I, do I give it to him? You want me to give it to him? Yes. Yes. Yeah, do it. Do it to yeah. him. Oh, this, we're having an OOC chat about this? Yeah, OOC. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do it, Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. He said he wanted shit like this, right? What if he puts a, the rune into, like, a sick sword or some shit? <laughs> or a shield or... Cool scythe. Okay, I look at Shrug and I go... I'm trusting you with this. And then I hand over the loot. All right. McConnell hands over rare loot that was taken from a boss monster and gives it to Shrug. I will repay your trust as best as I am able. Now, see, look at this device. You see these these signs on I uh, see these signs on the crystal and you look at this he can, he's going to peel back that flap that you made with the sun blade you look at my heart this pump and this heart are very similar now there are a couple things that would help me a lot if you could bring them to me because I simply don't have much strength left you you found me 
But my last days, I thought I was just going to die there, free. But it seems like I have been given a second chance. If you can find other hybrids like me, well, ones that have lost their minds, please don't kill anyone for my sake. And you can take the pumps from them and bring them back to me intact. I will be able to extend my life. As for this heart, if you can bring back one more large heart of an orange giant crystalline creature, you must be able to, see, you'll recognize it when you see it. If you can bring that to me, you should be able to make one of a couple devices. Well, I don't know what exactly you guys feel would be useful. But if you have any suggestions right now, I can start tinkering. What will you have me do? I was going to ask you, what kind of magical device do you want him to try to create? And based on that, he may be able to give you more direction. Goblin club. No, no, a device. A device. A device. We have goblin club. I could make no. you a club. A club for a goblins. Club. Oh, you can make... You can make weapons? I can make <laughs> I can make weapons, yes. I want a big ass two handed mace. Big. Nope. I want a big device huge. that can go can that can use the crystal power. And we can and it can use like all the different crystal power and we can like switch it between uh, the different powers. One. Wait, hold on. That's really good. Oh that, my god. Is that too OP? That's, that's extremely crazy. giga brain. Do that. No, do that. All right, do give that. us an infinity gauntlet. Thank you. Yeah, basically, <laughs> I want an infinity gauntlet, no. but I get to choose which, like, which stone I get to use. If yeah. it's going to be, like, the yellow or the blue or the red or, you know, whatever of the crystals that are in the cavern. I want something that just solves all our problems. I want a Honda element. <laughs> <laughs> so... Shrug is gonna start just murmuring to himself, and you see some brain spell, brain cells are firing off. Yes, we could do. We do this by, by that be. I hope it comes right. out as a Honda element that can use all the crystals. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a carriage. Just, just kidding. No. Sickest Honda element ever, dude. Snails really for wheels. The perfect artist. Oh my god, it uses all the elements. Who needs device. EVs? Who needs gasoline? <laughs> Who needs hydrogen fuel cell? We can just jam some crystals in there, am I right? Fuck it. Uh, yeah. But uh, uh, Shrug is seeming very excited at Keck's idea. Yes, there was something deeper. There was... Remember? Remember that creature? The creature that you were talking to? Uh, Turtle Man? T Turtle Man? T Tort Man? Tort Man? <laughs> Tort you, you remember? Twerk Man? <laughs> No. I, I swear to God, you said twerk man right there. Yeah, make a clap, Tortimus. Uh, I'm just, sorry, um. You don't want to see what's clapping on inside the shell, but what were you saying? Uh, you, you spoke to one of them. That, you, that creature, that creature, the, 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 uh, the one you were speaking to, the smart one. That thing, that thing can turn orange energy into blue energy, and blue energy into orange energy. I've seen it, and I, I, I think it showed it to you. Uh, yes, I, I touched tips of it. You uh, did. The tips of the blue and the orange. You, you did touch the tips. You spoke to it. Do you I think did, you yes. could find one again? Could I find one again? Oh... I'm not the best tracker in the world. I mean, I got into this cave because I was following a snail trail yeah, that's and I got lost. So I'll be honest with you. I probably wouldn't be able to do it on my own. So that's why I'm very thankful. I've got a great party of friends that might be able to help out in this endeavor. Is there smiles <laughs> widely as he looks at McConnell and everyone else? And everyone else. Dirt <laughs> kind of takes notice and he's been stuffing his face. He's. Mm, mm, mm. How much um, are you eating, dog? What? What's going on, guys? Sorry. I was eating. eating back here the whole time. 
I need mushrooms and goblin jerky. Oh. Trug is gonna glance around. Okay. Well, I've seen when you work together as a group, you are very powerful. But is anyone uh, perhaps have learned some survival skills and is is good at that that type of thing that could lead the way? Any of you good at survival? Ooh, that is uh, not Ooh. me. <laughs> That's not <laughs> me. Uh, dirt. Ooh, I mean, uh, I've got uh, a bunch. I've got dirt's a bunch not too. bad. Plus three. Oh. I mean, you're surviving all the poop you're eating, so... <laughs> I'm not very survival -y. Wait. Wait, which... Wait, who's... Who's the one that knows the survival skills? Uh, uh, probably the little one. I mean, I, I can do it. I'm, I was born in the dirt. I was found in it. What? You, you were mulched? That's where I was found. I was found in a big pile of dirt. That's why they call me dirt. I thought it was Kurt. What? <laughs> just the whole time. Oh, just the whole time. That was good. <laughs> I thought that was your name. Is that not your name? What's your wait? What? Oh no! My name's Dirt. That's not a name. Yeah, it is. Someone had to name Dirt. That's me. What do you yeah, think my right. name is? You, you talk. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, she's not a goblin. Yep, that's true. And not a fake goblin either. That's the worst. What are we talking about again? What you need? Wait, what do you he, need me to survive? Who knows how to survive in these goddamn yeah, wildernesses? I, yeah, I can do it. Or Kurt. It's right. dirt. Okay, sure, man. All right, the one that is strongest should lead the way. Because you will need to track that creature. But now, there's a, there's a, there are things that we should discuss. The two friends that escaped with me, the ones that I ate, one was a hybrid of a human worker and a goblin warrior. Or, well, not a small goblin, but a, a big goblin. A, a, a goblin as, as big as this one. Yeah, I, I don't big. know what you call them. A hobgoblin? No, I'm a, a goblin, goblin, bitch. Oh, 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 oh I, 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 I didn't mean any offense. Oh my I'm just Dude, chill out, relax. Well, you hear him talking to me? You hear him talking to me? Hear him talking to me? No, I'm Call just, me a I'm, hobgoblin. No, chill the fuck I'm, out. I'm trying to give you information. Don't you, don't you right. want to find the other goblins here? Don't you want to recruit them to our cause? Don't you want to earn acceptance? Mm hmm. I guess. Are they cool? There, well, I don't know about to do? them. I don't know if they were being cool, but the one that I knew was very friendly. It was very nice, and didn't just hit people with a club all the time. Doesn't, sounds like a fake to me. Sounds well, like a I mean, fake to be gun. fair, we were all we were all captured and we were merged into each other, so I guess it's not really apples. What do you mean merged? Goblins, like a human I guess. Centipede. <laughs> Did you say human centipede? <laughs> yeah, you said they were merged. <laughs> Basically, yeah. How are you guys? Look how are you guys merged like that? Was it like that, or was it different? Oh, they, 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 they cut pieces of our body and stitched them together with some kind yes. of icor, and they, they, they put something on our heads, and then they made the both sides fight against each other, and the, the one that, won ate the other, and then was given consciousness, and that's how I'm here. That's cool. It was pretty fucked up. What do you mean? Mm, sounds kind of cool to me. I don't know, man. Goblin shit. Uh, but, but anyway, about the goblins. <laughs> uh, the, uh, they were merged together. It was a powerful goblin warrior. There should be more of them around here if you want to track them. And the other one was, was like, was like you here. This paladin, paladin that you speak. And was turned into an undead with some n n powers of the dead. Like, and it's going to kind of point at Keck. You, you know how you were able to talk to my friend. 
something like that. Wait, I, what? It's it. I, I don't. Mm. I don't know. But y y you saw, uh, it, it, uh, this this friend was able to talk to my friend after he had died, and I. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Wait, I, this is the first time I'm not reading about that. Wait, I forgot yeah. what happened to McConnell when we did that. You guys did it behind my back, right? I think he was sleeping, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm pissed. Now I'm pissed. All right, McConnell, what are you going to do? I'm going to say, you did what? Use his dodge action preemptively. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look, I, I just, I don't want to die. I'm under control right now. Alrighty. Listen, I have a gun and I'll use it just like I did last time. What are is you, he talking about, guys? Are, are you going to pull out your gun, Rodney? We had a very important conversation. It was necessary and no one was hurt. They were already done. <laughs> yeah. Vital information was exchanged. I told you not to do that. Okay, but the world doesn't revolve around you. <laughs> okay, I wasn't gonna do anything. Now I am. Now I am. Okay, now I'm dodging. <laughs> now I'm pissed. No, no, Baby. no, no! Stop. Seriously, we're, we're making progress here, and you're taking us back. Yeah, honestly, Women's Month, really? It's not, not this is a fucking fantasy. There is no women's month. You said oh, Kex not a woman. Whoa. 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 What? It's, a, it's oh, fucking on, fantasy. Dude. It's a okay. fantasy. In your fantasy, there's no women's Kex month for Connor. Oh, there's no oh, need for a win. Yes, oh, I no. There's no <laughs> goblin month. There's no need for it. Bro, I'm saying there's no need for it. What the hell do you need a month for? Hey guys, in McConnell's defense, Keck, Perona did say. Yeah. Keck w had was not a woman. Keck is yeah. like genderless. Keck's like a, yeah, genderless. So. Whatever. Keck is a changeling. But Rona brought it up. Yep. It's my own damn fault that I'm getting beat right now. Whoa! <laughs> I'm glad we all agree. I'm, I'm not even doing that. I'm not even doing that. This is Thanks, McConnell's McConnell. fantasy. Bro. If you are in a relationship and you're a, you're having physical violence, remember there is help. Uh, reach out for help. <laughs> just happy just National Goblin Month. Everyone. Yeah, you want to talk about beating people? It's fucking Goblin Month. This motherfucker <laughs> literally hits his own party members more than he hits the enemy. Yeah, I'm beating my shit it's right like now. It's like 50 50. Yeah, he tries. Come on, man. Hey, hey, how about a little bit more food, Twig? I'm kind of hungry. You've had enough. And then I slap. <laughs> I, I slap. Does what? That's a 10 meter slap. What's going on here? He's a 10 foot He's slap. What are you on? slapping? <laughs> over, or, over toward <laughs> McConnell, baby, you're so ugly when you're mad. Stop. I, can I, I? I slap. I slap. McConnell, you're so much prettier. You've had than enough. You smile. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> How can he slap? All right. Stop no, eating so goddamn really food. You're all, all you've done since we've woken up is eat food. You're supposed <laughs> to you. You're supposed to help us. You're supposed to lead us. Dirt, dirt. has got slapped, so he's just twirling in place, <laughs> spinning. Whoa. Okay. All right. I'm gonna try to honestly re-explain the details that we learned and why it was such a good idea to share that rune on how it was a big advantage for us to have a conversation with that dead paladin and um that we gave him an opportunity to you know have some peace after moving on <laughs> yeah you did just to get McConnell to Stop pinching his dick. <laughs> there is no excuse you could give me that would justify speaking with the dead. After dead I just people had a conversation about trust, and you lay you lay this on me, you do this to me. Well, without I mean, this information, where would we be? I'm 
gonna trust that you're not gonna hurt me. I'm not gonna hurt you, but I'm upset. I'm upset that you have done this. I'm you very upset. To him on Goblin Month. I will trust that you're gonna hold a grudge. I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna. I do not let go of grudges ever. Okay. I'm the grudgiest motherfucker. Yeah. Look how it ended up for me, Kek. Welcome to the party. That's okay. I'm sure you don't forget either. I do not forgive, and I do not forget. Okay. Shrug is going to glance around, uh, not understanding what the problem is. Uh, because, I mean, Shrug is just a mushroom hybrid. Uh, and it's just going to say, I, well, but here's the thing. It's, it, it's, it's what you say. Water. It's water under the bridge. Right? Yes. Right? Something like that. You're yeah, right. It's in the past. But, but, I, I, I must know. Why are you so angry, Paladin? Why does this make you so mad? Using vile magics and arts to commune with the dead is abhorrent, disgusting behavior. It, it was kind of cool, though, to be fair. It was sick. It was awesome, man. Yeah, you don't even know what religion he is. He was a really cool person. I know enough about religion. <laughs> so the entire yeah, party yeah, just yeah, like, like, like <laughs> it's like hyping Keck up. It's like shitting. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Name one scripture. What's your favorite book in the Bible? Mine's Deuteronomy. The what? <laughs> Dude anatomy? Deuteronomy. You're studying Dude anatomy? We're supposed to be done an adventure. <laughs> but, uh, what the fuck? Uh, but uh, Shrug is going to respond to you, and you look into uh, it's seven eyes that is blinking, and there's not a drop of malice or aggression, but there is legitimate curiosity. You say it is, is vile, but I was able to say goodbye to my friend who died so that I could live and be here and help you today. It brought me peace. It brought me forgiveness. Wow. How is that vile? It wouldn't be vile if the magics that were used in order to make that happen were not bad. Oh. Oh. Are you prejudiced against my magic? Yes. What? Of course I am. What? Of course. That's like the... That's the whole... That's why everybody hates paladins. Is because fucking... That, we're so fucking anti... Goddamn... Your bullshit. No, it's because you're annoying. Whatever. Same difference. <laughs> oh, also so this is all just a you problem. Like, this is it. why everyone hates paladins. Just, it's, it's just like wow, broad this statement. Like, this is really reason. going places. We understand now. It's actually <laughs> really fucking funny. I mean, it, it doesn't have a point. You know, uh, paladins can definitely sometimes be uh, a little bit a little bit of a goody two shoes. Uh, but uh, I was really. But either way, uh, uh, Shrug is going to actually just kind of take that. He's not going to put up any more of an argument. It's going to turn around and it's going to look at Keck. And he's just going to ask Keck, Oh, e e you use the magic. And you, you use great magic too. I've seen you shoot and destroy those, uh, those, those crystal golems as they came after us. But is... Even if the magic is bad, you aren't bad people, right? Uh, come, I'm come certainly on, not. I don't really want that answer. I, I do. Kurt's kind of weird. Don't answer that, Rodney. Don't answer that. Don't. Yeah, well, I. Yeah, the man wants honesty. <laughs> If I was a bad person, would I be able 
to do this? <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> what are you doing, McConnell? Do what? What are you doing? I oh. use two, two, two uh, lay on hands as two, two points. Two points on uh, on shrug. Yeah. Perfect. Awesome. We are going to bring him up from six HP to eight. Uh, you can feel oh. that there's a there's a coursing holy energy going into shrug, and it's making him feel a little bit better. After all, he's having some pretty serious symptoms with this entire pump malfunction thing that's been going on. But, oh, thank you. Thank you, Paladin. But, uh, but, uh, magic gun warrior. Surely your magic can do something other than destroy. Like, look, you are a tinkerer like me. You've created such wonderful tools. Yeah, so... But you, he's, uh, he doesn't want to step on RJ, actually, so he's not going to take a step forward. But this one here says there's good magic and there's bad magic. Uh, the the uh, turtle man uses great magic. This one used magic to bring me to peace. You seem very smart. I don't think there's any such thing as good magic or bad magic. I think there's just good people and bad people. Bad people that did this to me as he's going to open up his little chest flap again, exposing the pump. Gross. I cannot yeah. be wrong. Am I? He's going to ask you because he does seem to respect your intelligence because when things got heated, you were the one that made a very good call of keeping stuff skirting at the distance and cutting those mobs. He's going to look to you to kind of solve this moral dilemma that McConnell and Keck have put him in. But Rodney, how does Rodney feel about magic? What would Rodney say? Look, yeah, yeah, you're right. You, you can do a lot with it. And, you know, it's not always killing. Okay, but, you know, hey, most of, most of the time is what it ends up with. You see? They use their magic to, to hurt. Yeah, but so do you, Paladin, with your smites. What do those do? Give people, like, a nice warm hug? Well, it depends on who I use them on. Yeah, all right. Listen. Shrug. Bad people use bad magic. And good people use good magic. My magic's good. And I'm good. I'm a good guy, too. But the magic you used was bad. Ah! And but I told I'm you not good. to do it. You oh used it against my wishes. You're not my You mom. never told me to do that. I'm not even talking to you. Dirt. Oh, sorry. So Shrug's gonna uh, nod a little bit. And seems to have uh, digested some thoughts. <clears throat> well, I... Well, as I was saying before you got upset. Yes, continue. One friend was half-goblin warrior, half-human. And the other was an was a paladin that had been turned into some ghoulish creature. <laughs> Which means both of those factions must be nearby. They must be both within the hunting ground of those creatures. I don't think you should split the party. But which one? Do you want to go to next? If we can recruit their help, we can gather more ingredients. And with more ingredients, we can craft more weapons of war. What do you all say? Where I do say you hunting want to grounds. Go next? Oh, sorry, McConnell, what was that? Did you say hunting grounds? 
Yeah, so they're all inside. Like, everyone's in hunting grounds, but he wants to. He wants to see whether you guys want to go. Try to find out where those goblins were. There are one militant faction that you guys could recruit as an ally in the final battle, but there's also some paladins that are looking around, as corroborated by Grub Grub. And I mean, I guess they Dirt's been eating goblin jerky, so Shrug is probably not lying. <laughs> Well, I feel like we've done a lot of paladin stuff. Why don't we do some goblin stuff? Shrug is going to glance around to the rest of the party. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Goblin stuff's always good, man. That's what I'm saying. Maybe, maybe we can, you know, stop and eat before we leave. You've been eating the whole time. The, literally, the growing. whole time. Fairy. Leave no, him you're alone, not. McConnell. Ha, ha, do I notice? Have I noticed him growing at all? Literally any. <laughs> um, I think no. Dirt probably has an amazing metabolism, so he hasn't even gained a pound despite all the, all the. Well, I mean, he's eaten everything from actual shit to like, like dried goblins. So, but he's not. He's not gaining uh, any pounds. He looks very healthy. It's very healthy. Very healthy. You, you haven't grown at all. You're the same size as when we started. Yeah, I'm looking pretty good, huh? No, you're full of shit. Literally. Yeah, it was delicious. Oh, not this again. <sighs> well, All right, I changed my vote. I'm, I'm going. I'm going Baldwin. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh you know what? <laughs> <I didn't know. laughs> I'm going. Baldwin. I'm. Going. I changed my vote now. I'm. I'm Baldwin. Team Baldwin. No, please. Come on, man. Well, you know what? I'll change my mind as well. I think it'd be very imperative for our paladin to learn what it's like to be a real paladin by surrounding himself by uh, with actual paladins. I think we should follow the strongest member of the team, which is a tie between Keck and Craig. It is uh, very geez. accurate. Arm wrestle. What? Whichever one wins the arm wrestle, I'll go with whatever whatever they decide. I don't want All anyone right, to okay. punch me. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your hand. Get away from me. <laughs> Give me your freaking hand. <laughs> Tries to grab Keck's hand and wrench it down at, a, at the ground. Whoa! Uh... We're arm wrestling. Ooh, should shapeshift and have small the... hands. <laughs> <laughs> Slip away? <laughs> what the hell? That's, that's a big thing to slip away at. Come back here, you coward. <laughs> you just, I just imagine all these little tentacles are just like pushing away at your face. <laughs> They're just like shoving wanna, you away. Like, you know those, that weird gross thing that people, that people find in their pipes and they're like, what is it? And it's just like a knot of worms. What the hell? You know what I'm Wait, talking what? about? No. I've never seen that. What the fuck oh my god, that's pipes? nasty. What are you smoking? No, it's yeah, it's like this. It's not a parasite, but it's like this. Um, it's this like this worm thing that like grows in like sewage pipes. I'm not even kidding. It's gonna give you nightmares. I'm not Dude, gonna Google that. It's like a no, it's, it's like not. a rat king, but made out of worms. Yeah, it's basically like that. Okay, now I can it's imagine huge. it. It's like the size oh, of a basketball. Oh my god! Okay, that's disgusting. Oh wow. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't want to hear anymore. I don't, oh I god. Really don't okay. Well, um, that's what I turn <clears throat> into when I move away. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, don't punch me. Makes a uh, an uh, attack of um, <laughs> or not uh, a great escape attempt. Uh, Craig, leaving you there. Um, I guess uh, all is iron you. So. You guys do need to decide. Are you guys heading out to the Paladins as McConnell and Tortimus have changed their vote to? Or do you want to okay, stick with yeah. the Goblins? Did I win? Mm -hmm. I what McConnell wants to do, because if we don't, he'll cry. I yeah. won't cry. I yeah. won't cry. Let the big no. boy lead the way. You don't okay. want to do anything against his wishes. Oh my god. Why are you guys... Why, are you guys, why? why do why? you have to bring God into this? <laughs> I'm saying this OC. I'm not going to cry if you guys want to do goblin. If you guys want to do goblin shit, we can do goblin shit. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I won't say You're anything. a goblin hater. You're a goblin hater. Why do you hate goblins? I will do? abstain. No, you can't. That you means can't. I'm not voting. Who cares if you're not having shit? Oh. 
speak. <laughs> you, you can't you can't abstain. You have to vote. I'm making that a rule. How do we vote? Just, <laughs> it's just a, probably a verbal vote. <laughs> what did say it did How do we vote? <laughs> Is there like a booth <laughs> around here? Can we, yeah. <laughs> we got poles around here somewhere? Is there a token? Thank you. If you want a little bit of privacy, you can jump head first into the pile of shit, and I'm sure no one will follow you in there. You want to cast your vote? Ooh. Can, don't. No, that, that's out of character. That's out of character. I can do out of character stuff too. I can do out of character. Okay. Um, Ooh, minus one. Minus one? No. <laughs> if this, if no. this die is higher than five, we'll do whatever McConnell wants to do. Okay. Fuck. I mean, yay! <laughs> right. It's it's very obvious to me that the party wants to do goblin. Let's do goblin. I think it's yay. literally just been me saying no. that I wanted to do it, but regale us with your tales of religion. Yeah, <laughs> I'm still waiting for you to tell me your favorite book in the Bible. I tell a religious story Deuteronomy. about the people of Cyrus. <laughs> An eight down to a seven. That story was shit. <laughs> it tells the story. It's just a bunch of ums I, and ahs. I'm uh, so sorry. I got story. lost. That's Could a really good again? story. <laughs> That's the best story I've ever fucking heard. These have been some pretty low rolls today. <laughs> I want. I, mean, I need. I need. I, I need to. Uh, we need to redo my stats. I That's way better than Dude Anatomy. It, it, maybe there's ways uh, for you to learn. Uh, oh my god! Why is my religion check right. so much better than his? You really love shit. God. So I guess we'll have McCall just like, prattle on a whole I guess bunch. I was in the right to talk oh. to that paladin. Listen, I, I, I know way more religion than him. Faith is stronger. Look at Keck now. Such that's bullshit. Ugh. Ugh. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that's a pretty nasty worm. I'm a worm. <laughs> I'd still love you if you were a worm. Aw. You wee. I fucking wouldn't. All right. I'm going to tell you guys about Dune. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's a uh, Coco. No Coco Just tell the Lord of the Rings. Someone's watched the prequels and remembers uh, Troms is uh, 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 telling the tales to Junior, uh, who I should probably give back to you guys because Junior has been hiding away. My son. Uh, has been uh, has been hiding for quite a long time, actually. He's down uh, here. I, yeah, I've been is, keeping my uh, eye on him. Yeah, it's a uh, uh, Junior is going to uh, just emerge uh, from the... Uh, Garden of smaller magnet babies, and it's gonna come and return to you guys. So it seems like you guys want to head toward the goblins. Does uh, no does Dirt recognize him? Recognize him, right? Yeah. Oh, oh of course. It doesn't matter. Even though he's like, how oh, close oh. of a bond do we have so far that I could recognize him, even though that he's like shape shifted? I think uh, the moment you decided that Junior was family. No form, no matter how large, no matter how small, no matter how frightening, no matter how cute, you would always know that Junior is your family. Son! Son, it's me! Oh. I hope they've been treating you well. I'm not your son. No, I'm talking oh, to thing. Junior, Craig. I forgot about this little guy. Hey, Junior, That's show him my your real boy. self. Junior, show him your real self. Guys, look what oh, he can cool do. Mode. Yeah, show him your knife hands mode. <laughs> <laughs> that thing's a freak. Just look like a skittering horror in the middle. We of all excitedly this. talked to Junior about the other one we met. There he is, guys. Check him out. He's cool looking. Look at him. He's got like three or four legs. You ever seen one of these, Grubhub? Look, he's got knife hands and no face. Grub, grub. Oh, yes, God. I said. What the hell? Oh, God. <laughs> that's. That's. That's, that's the my figure son. we've been seeing in the dreams and stuff. That's mm -hmm. What's going on? That's the one that needs to sucks. eat more, but it's not the, the this one. It's in, It's the bigger one. What's the problem? What's going on? They're all going to take a step back. This is the first time that Junior has shown his, uh, or its form. Wait. Wait. What is that? That's my son. His name's Junior. That is, 
That is a creature that has been hunting you. That's a creature that's been hunting us. What? Yeah. What? No, he looks just like him. This one's good, though. This one's like the good one. Let's see, the uh, Truffle Dragon releases another uh, patch of magical fog just obscuring its snail like body. You can see like a little mound of shit kind of just like peering out, but other than that, it's like trying to hide. It's, uh, it's not happy with this form. It seems like the Truffle Dragon had a very, very bad experience with this creature. Shrug would have seen this creature, so I don't, I don't. I think Shrug would kind of be on your side now. I feel like, oh guys, it's okay. It's okay. This one, this one's different. This one, this one is different. Junior doesn't really know what to say because Junior is still trying to grasp the common language, and is going to try to make amends by trying to say something that it was or it taught, and it's just gonna say, ah, uh, ah. Uh, Fly, you fools! At which point, uh, some of the mechanisms are just gonna uh, take a take a step back, and you can hear a little bit of murmuring. One of them kind of backs up against the wall. Uh, uh, the the babies start to just like uh, gather together in a corner, and they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna try to they're gonna they're gonna protect their young. That's my Craig. boy. God, he's Craig's got some good the... tricks. Craig's gonna say the best thing possible to calm every one of these Mykonids down. Say, isn't that cool, Grub Hub? This means that any one of the, any one of the guys like this could be among us at any time. It's cool, huh? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Hey, Junior, show him your trick. And then I want to point at Grub Grub. It's kind of like <laughs> put a hand on on Junior and then point at Grub Hub. Up. I should stop this. <laughs> Look! <laughs> uh, Grub Grub is going to cringe and is going to, uh, is going to take a step back. Look, how could you have brought this creature here? What do you mean? These are, this is my son. He's a good guy. He what? saved my life. He's, he's going to... He's going to, uh, he's going to glance around. What? You, you were with us the entire time. It, this, this thing was hiding among our children. Yeah, you that's how you know he's okay. Yeah, he could have killed all those kids if he wanted, but he didn't. Yeah, he's got You're knife welcome. hands and stuff. You. <laughs> I don't know if I can trust you anymore. You what do you mean? Me. After leave. everything we've been through, you're going to see my baby, my sweet little son, and you're not going to want to trust us anymore? Don't I tell knew. me this fucks us over, dude. I knew <laughs> something was wrong. These, these must be... Are you fake humans? Is that why you were throwing each other into the pit? Is that why you show no ill effects? No, and are I'm not you a human. human. I'm a fairy. Hey, I'm a gif. Uh, we're hippos, but like from space. That guy's a freaking space hippo. Pronounced gif. I was. I'm crying. No, it, it, look, anyone who knows the debate knows that it's gif. Okay. How does uh, Keg is a pile of writhing worms right now, and you're gonna look at my I'm son and be afraid? No one likes him. <laughs> That's relevant. This mushroom guy's got like nine different spider eyes, but you're gonna look at my son and judge him? No, he doesn't like Shrug either. <laughs> <laughs> Grub Grub is looking more and more shaken by the moment. Um, do you guys have anything you want to say to try and defuse the situation? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Listen. I, I, I approach. Hands out, hands out, like a like a wide open like I got nothing on me, right? Listen, like you, okay, like you, we also thought that Junior was bad, but over our adventures, our time together, he has been proven to be quite safe. And not a monster, not an evil you didn't monster. Kill your kids. You didn't kill Shut your up! Kids. Shut up! Okay, my bad. We have no intent 
to do any harm at all. Junior is completely fine. He's not going to hurt anybody. If he was going to hurt anybody or any member of your organization, he would have done it already. But as you can see, and then I gesture around, no one is hurt. Nothing happened. Grub Grub's gonna glance around. Call, could you make a persuasion check, please? I think you need to leave. Oh, come on. Hey, let me talk to him. Let me talk. Let me. Hey, can I talk Craig, to you? Cra let Craig sort this out. Let me talk to you. Tell him bitch. how good my son is at being my son. Hey. Hey. Hey, Grub Up. Look. There's not a lot that I can say that's going to change your mind, man. But I'm just saying, man, this little, hey, this guy, he could have killed your whole family by now. He could have pretended to be you and had sex with your wife. He doesn't care, man. He could do whatever he wants. And he didn't. He didn't fuck you up. He didn't pretend to be me and kill Tortimus when he could have a thousand times. He could have killed Tortimus a hundred times by now. But he's pretty chill. He been hanging out with, he been hanging out with them kids, not killing them. He could have killed. I could kill those kids. I could go kill those kids over there if I wanted uh, to wait, right wait, now. Okay, okay, okay. I we could. It'd be it. easy. Crank, crank. I could crush their heads like grapes with my hands. I could pop them like a grape, eat it we, off the we, vine. We get I don't it, care. big guy. We get it. But he's pretty cool. Please, Grub Grub, you gotta believe him. My son's what a we, good guy? What are we Question about? mark? Yeah, his son's a thing. And he's pretty chill. Just give us whatever we want, man. Or whatever the hell. <laughs> what the hell We're just robbing him now. Give <laughs> us what, no, don't say that. <laughs> Hold on. Just give us what Hold we on. want. No, no, no one no, gets no, hurt, no, man. No, 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 wait. <laughs> that's not what's happening. This he didn't say that. He didn't say that. He didn't say that. <laughs> I mean, no one <laughs> is getting robbed. Put the Honda <laughs> element in the bag, man. Put the Honda element in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> that escalated really fucking quickly. All right. Uh, so McConnell made one unsuccessful uh, attempt to persuade. Because remember, uh, Grub Grub and the rest of the Mykonids are very afraid right now. Uh, they uh, they have been attacked by this creature, and you already saw that there were. It took some effort for them to even allow Shrug to stay. So this is a pretty huge ask uh, that you guys are making of them, but. Is there anything that you guys are going to try to do to back up Craig? Is there any way that you guys can think of to try to earn Grub Grub's trust? Because this is a this is a pretty big leap. He doesn't seem hostile, but he's uh, he he just he may not be welcome here anymore. Talk, bro, is there anything we could do? Do you guys know? Craig leans in really close to dirt. What's the what's the what's the legality or whatever? Is it cool? Would could your son could could we could could we prostitute your son to them? Like you're you not look, doing that with my oh, son. If he doesn't want, I don't know what the legality is. It seems like a gray area with skittering things like that. <laughs> so I mean, are we not doing that? Because we could ask them what they like. Okay, we'll see. That'll be the you want last me to thing do we scrub consider. Up? Okay, we might need to go there. <laughs> L listen, Grub Grub, I, you saw what he really looks like. And you saw who he really is, but he's not who you think he is. He's the thing that you don't think that he is. He's the opposite of the thing that you think that he is. <laughs> this, this is chill, bro. I mean, this is... I don't think you could do any worse than you're doing right now. Do you have any... <laughs> oh, my God. Bro, just be chill, Grubhub. Come on, man. Yeah, just be chill. Just, just chill, chill out. out. Just I'm chill gonna, out. I'm saying this OC. Please. I'm telling you right now, if this fails, I'm I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna kill. Everybody. Don't, McConnell. You already failed once. You've already failed a dozen times. We're gonna carry this for you, dude. <laughs> yeah, we got this. <laughs> Let us work our magic, McConnell. Okay. Whatever. It's a trumps. Uh, what 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 was Dirk trying to uh, trying to do with that, with that speech? Um. More or less just trying to say that, like, you saw his true, like, nature, but 
I guess I guess he can also add like pretty much what Craig's already said. Like he's listen, my son, he hasn't done anything. He's just a baby boy or whatever he is. I don't know, but we don't need to be afraid of the stuff that we're we're uh, that we don't know about. And well, the thing that I know, there's good in him. That's my boy. Yeah, it might be. All right. I also just want to convey that he's like he pretty much what Craig has said. He hasn't done anything wrong. <laughs> he's just like here. You can't judge somebody because he's an ugly, skittering horror. <laughs> Shrug is going to take a step up and he's going to try to aid you. All right, uh, give you advantage on this roll. Grub, grub. You trusted us once. But you must have understood that they don't know any better. How could they have known that you, you would have been so afraid if you'd already accepted us as guests of your circle? Look, there's no need to get hasty. You've seen... You've seen them play games. You've seen them... Uh... Well, you I, I guess you've seen them physically hurt each other. But they all got better. They all... They all helped each other. Come. We... we listen to them. Please. So, by trying to aid you, he's gonna give... Uh, dirt, you're gonna have advantage. Could you give me a persuasion check, please? Oh, I one, sure as heck can. If dirt. Roll twice or if this one is uh, so uh, advantage is roll twice, keep higher. If it's lower than a 13, you guys are gonna get kicked out. <clears throat> okay. Here's what I want to ask. I want to do an advantage, but I want one roll from dirt, one roll from Craig. Is that possible? I think we could. Totally do that. Is it, Craig did make an argument, so yeah, we'll have one for I Craig. I made the better for... argument. He just talked about his stupid oh kid. God. I just tell you to chill out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Put the right. element in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> the element in the bag. Is too Give us the Honda element. <laughs> this is sponsored. Did you say uh, persuasion? As a persuasion check, guess. All right, Craig, you have to beat a 13. It's all on you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yes! Holy shit! Yeah, I had plus nine, fuckers. Why do you think I want to make a speech so bad? And I'm aware of that. I'm a mega gamer. Oh my God. <laughs> a 19 up to a 28 is a resounding success. Yep. Give us the Honda element. Why can't anybody <laughs> else roll like that when it matters? In this I mean... I'm also a plus nine to persuasion, so it was just like, I, mine, I, like I was like, no matter what I say, it's probably gonna work. Because <laughs> there's not a thought behind his uh, that head of his anymore <laughs> after the dream state, so he has nothing to fear. <laughs> He's lost He's all, so trustworthy. Yeah. Lost all his I social inhibitions. Yeah. But um, how to lie? Grub Rub is gonna tense up a little bit and kind of relax. Okay. I'll trust you this one time, but the next time you have a secret like that, uh, please just, just show me first. If we had had this conversation when you were on the outside looking in, this would have been much better. Can you promise me that there will be no more secrets? And if you find anything on your journey, be it dangerous or be it a blessing, you'll have no secrets from us. And I got turn... one last secret. Oh, no. What is it, Dirt? Well, Tortimus is, I don't think he's actually a talking rock. I think he might be some kind of weird lizard. Uh, he's just a guy. Oh. He's just a guy dressed like that. It's weird, but whatever. Yeah, no more secrets. Don't no worry. Comment. Um, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, are you okay from that drink we gave you earlier? Do you? Are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm drunk. 
Oh. Whatever, man. No more secrets, All right. I guess. Well, at any rate, you've had rest. Seems you have a long journey ahead of you. I will... I'll work with Shrug. Good. To get him what he needs to Good. build you these devices. Make haste. And make progress. Before we go, I think Junior wants to give you a hug. Grub, grub. Uh, he's gonna cringe. Can you give me a persuasion check, please? You want this hug. <laughs> yeah! 18 up to a 24. Come on, Junior. Uh, Time to give him a hug. Come on, the nice guy's been really helpful. You get over here and give him give him a hug. I gave him a kiss earlier. Come on. Oh. You know, like hold his son's hand or Minnie McConnell's hand yeah. as he walks him up. Uh, what do you want him to look like, dude? This is in prostitution, but what do you want him to I look like? I fucking knew it would work. You. I knew it would work. <laughs> I was saying that we should do it, and he's doing it. <laughs> uh, 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 Junior's gonna look back at you, Dirt, for some guidance. Is there anyone you want him to turn into? Because Grub Grub seems to be very, very confused. Um, he's gonna turn Dirt. Uh, they're just gonna look around, look at his party, and uh, oh, I got it. He's gonna lean into to Junior and whisper like, pss, 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 and then he's gonna point at Rodney. <laughs> what? 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 There you go. You got a big old hippo hug. One hour, as many hugs as you want. All right, they're gonna, they're gonna get, they're gonna get as close to each other, and they're gonna kind of embrace. And you see, Grubum's gonna tense up a little bit, and then just kind of, kind of relax and let go. And say, yeah. No. See, he's a little sweetheart. Uh, you can hardly even feel the knife hands. That's uh, well, I'm glad, I'm glad there are no knife hands of which you speak right now. But uh, we'll be honest. It will take some getting used to, but you are still welcome here. No more secrets. All right, you guys. And ready before to head we out? go, I just yep. I tell one more religious story. <laughs> oh, oh my God! Oh, not again! Uh, and uh, you guys are going toward uh, uh, the goblin areas, right? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. So, um, terrible story, McConnell. Yep, uh, you tell you would give them uh, nice tales about Cyrosa, a little bit stuff about gins, maybe just some uh, some general high level stuff. Nothing particularly pressing to ex adventure, but except for the party, whether they believe that you are uh, indeed a a man of the book. I'm like religion. trying so hard to convince them I know stuff. Yeah, I read. I read all the time. <laughs> all right, uh, we're going to ha go ahead and go to the next map. If you guys are all ready. Woo! Can I do a performance check? Because I want—I don't know if I believe anything that you're saying. Oh, come on. Sure, yeah, you could definitely do a performance check. I, yeah, I want him... I No, I want to know if he can <clears throat> perform being religious. Oh, so you're trying to look... Uh, you want me to do... Yeah. Why? You well, want what would you match his religion perform? with, I think? I just... I just... I think it's a performance. You have to convince me. That's over 10. Okay. This is a player versus player role, so I will not interfere. All right, that's what it was good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys on to the next map. Nice religion. Oh yeah, <laughs> dude, sick fate. <laughs> Damn, we've been on that map for what, six months now. <laughs> The load time. It was the load time of that literally was supposed to be like, all right, we'll have a little festival. There'll be some mini games, and uh, they'll have fun time with mushroom people. We'll make jokes there. about mushrooms. Someone's there gonna was... eat a mushroom and trip, uh, and then we'll uh, and then we'll be on our merry way. Uh, instead, there was grand hallucinations. There was Inception, Dream Within a Dream shit, uh, and uh, and you guys still have very end also. <laughs> and then we had player versus player death match. <laughs> Hey, but you guys, uh, but you guys uh, had some, uh, you got some amazing information. I think you're actually uh, ahead in the adventure, so to speak, uh, despite all of the detours you guys have taken. Uh, but, so a couple things are gonna happen. As you guys head back out into the caves, a shrug is gonna give you some loose instructions. The first thing uh, that he's gonna mention 
that he learned from his goblin friend who turned into this hybrid is that the goblins that live here tend to keep to themselves. They have a lot of things to do surviving here in this big cavern, and most of the things here in these caverns are much scarier than them. So they try to keep to themselves. Uh, it's You're going to need to try to earn their trust by showing some type of might that you have the ability to survive and showing some type of friendliness. Uh, if you'd like to uh, communicate with them and you know not get to start on the wrong foot. The other thing uh, that uh, it mentions is that the goblin people love shiny trinkets. Not because they use them for anything in particular, but because they are a store of value. But your friend Shrug is not very sure about who they're trading with or why they're trading with them. But they do like trinkets and even magical items. They do collect some magical items of their own as well. And the third and final thing it's going to say, after giving you the general directions as to where they're going to be, you should look for scratches on the walls on the cave because they use that to mark and navigate around their territory. It's kind of like a like a sign language that transcends time and space. Only a real goblin would be able to decipher what they mean. But I'm sure you guys won't have any problems with Craig. All right. Um So, you move through a bunch of these caverns and it's getting darker and colder again that warmth that was around that giant pit uh maybe sorely missed but you can also feel that you guys are breathing a lot easier it's the air is smoother but you can also feel that it's almost like a little bit lower in like oxygen content you guys would know what I mean. the air doesn't feel as good but at least it's pure and it's not toxic in any ways in the distance, you feel like you can hear some stuff. Could you guys give me a perception check, please? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what the All fuck? Right. What the hell? 14? None of us are perceiving shit. Okay, I don't eat Watching me. <laughs> My eyes are just closed. Oh. All right. Yeah. All right. Keck and McConnell with an 18 and a 14. Yeah. As a group skill check, <laughs> you guys did not succeed for the most amount of information, but you would know that there's some type of work that's happening up ahead. You can hear what seems to be the clanking of rock on rock. There's something rock up ahead. Strong. The path splits into two ahead of you. There seems to be something around here, some sound. How would you guys like to proceed? Uh, I have a quick question. Yeah, yeah, slowly, but I have a quick question. Yeah. So the stuff, you know, you said that it's like, is there like writing on these walls and stuff like that at all? Uh, from what you can glean around you over here, there are no mm -hmm. writings at the moment, but you have been told okay. that you will find writings as you get closer. And you did see some things early before when you were getting here to prove that's right. So you know that like, Drug was not lying to you. You guys are on the right way. But from here on out, you're going to have to do some navigation and some survival checks which now, is why I asked that question now that stuff that you said that we saw before we got here in our Honda element did, yes. was was Craig able to read that stuff <laughs> at all that's a good question what intelligence skill would you trust the most what intelligence skill uh, yeah Nature, <clears throat> religion, history. <laughs> Ooh, I mean, you know what? Let's do a religion check. It's a night of religion checks. All right, let's see how you do. Let's go see a religion Yippee! check. Yeah, yeah, not so easy, is it, fucker? Not too bad. Nice religion. I'm happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> a 10 minus 1 down to a 9. These, you're trying to find some type of religious significance in these marks, these 
sigils, so to speak. But you're not really gleaning too much about it. Um, but you may be the only one here that could potentially speak Goblin. If you find something written in Goblin, you'll be able to understand. But based of what you're seeing, and this is like a code, it's going to be very mm -hmm. difficult for you to decipher. Uh, so yeah. you actually are not going to be able to glean any additional meaning directly. You can always make more knowledge checks as you get closer to them to try to do specific checks. But if not, uh, well, it's up to you whether you want to tell your party what I just told you. And I trust that they're going to RP around it correctly. Hey, guys. You know, hey. You, you know, hey, Craig. You know, you got, you know, guys, you know when we were on our way here? A couple little things on the walls and stuff. Uh huh. You mean the rocks? Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. yeah that's neat. Yeah. All right. What about it? What? It's cool. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to know a lot about these walls. Why don't you lead the way? Yeah, okay. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, are we supposed to be looking at hey, the wall? Come on, son. We got to go. Wait, Craig. Craig, as he as he walks through. Hold on. Everyone stop. Look, there's a fork in the road that we could easily traverse with the hunter. What I'm going to do, because we were, we there might be goblins around. Oh, if so there's I'm a gonna, fork, that means there's food nearby. No, not that kind of fork. Jesus, I'm gonna be yelling stuff in Goblin, okay? Shh. So if Shh. is he leaking? Don't interrupt me! Don't you fucking interrupt me, you son of a bitch! Look, look. What? I don't see anything. You talking about Tortimus right over there? Oh, why are you pointing up there? I don't see him. Let me get around the corner too, man. No, 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 don't. You're Lux, in no Lux. way. So, in well, what way. do you I see? See? Yeah, what do you fucking see? Just say it. I see a, a bug, some type of flying bug. Oh, can we eat it? Okay, well, let's no, 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 it's one of those that we saw in the cave. Remember the big, massive cave? Yeah, so oh, it's one of those. He could alert the other, he could alert more people. We need to be very careful and stealthy here. Wait, are you scared? We don't know what's in here. Let's move on, guys. Here's the thing. I'm no, gonna this way. No, no, no. God damn it. Look, do you see, see it? Do you bug? see it? Do you yes, see it? I see it. I see it. That's why I'm going this way, man. You want to go that way to that thing? Who here? Rodney. Come here. Get up here. Rodney, come, come here. Come here. Rodney, come on. Don't be scared. Listen. How good are your sniper shots? Yeah, it's all right. I mean, you know, I won a few competitions on the local circuit. I need you to one shot, one kill this thing right here. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Where? Which one? Come here. Come up here. Come up here. Come up, but yeah, come up here. You see right here? You see that thing right up yeah. there? Yeah. I mean, let me spitball this. Yeah, all right. Fires oh. scorching ray at uh, enemy. Hey, you can do ray. it. Mm, gotcha. Oh my god. So you are at a distance that it cannot perceive, which means it's going to be taken completely by surprise. Go ahead and make those scorching ray attacks at advantage. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> and you can, uh, you, can hit, uh, you can hit E when you roll the dice for advantage, but a 17 would hit, so that first one does damage. And you have All right. two more spell attacks. Oh! All right. Uh, yes. It is downed. Uh, I guess uh, you want to continue making the, uh, make the additional attacks just in case. All right. Thing's just gonna be a pile of fused metal so on the keep ground. Shooting the dead body of it. Uh, that oh. wasn't with advantage. Uh, so go ahead and roll one more time, just in case. Oh. Gee, it's dead. Hit. It's dead. Just yep. relax, buddy. 
starts shooting fireworks out of the tip of the rifle. <laughs> That's right. Welcome yep. to the show, baby. Yep. And you got one more attack at advantage. So you can, uh, when you click and make the roll, if you hold E, when you click that thing, it should give do the automatic KH and all that stuff. But if not, just keep rolling and we'll refund you on it. Perfect. If I'm three, it looks like that first attack did hit, the other two missed. <laughs> Then how much damage? Yeah, those, those were just fireworks. Perfect. Uh, 11. That collapse. 11 damage. All right, so I think died. Now, I think you saw this because Dirk was playing with the remains of one of these sentries. And you do remember something. Your character would remember this. There's no rolls you'll need to make. That thing, that sentry was able to reassemble itself after a period of time. But right now is disabled. If you could somehow get up to it, you could prevent it from waking up again and alerting the others. It requires a second tap and none of your other, uh, none of your attacks actually uh, were able to connect. Mm -hmm. All right, what are you guys gonna do? <laughs> what are we gonna do, McConnell? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's already have his <laughs> going without it, isn't he? <laughs> this guy's fucking gone, man. He's already looting it. <laughs> I'm gonna go meet some goblins. I loot. I Where loot, the hell I did loot. McCall? Oh, I loot. He's gonna do this goblin run, but he's gonna take all the goblin loot. Does it? <laughs> Careful, guys. There's something over there. Oh, what is it? Man, I don't know. Take a look for your fucking self. Go ahead, take a look. Whoa, that is something crazy. What the hell is that? It's something crazy. All right, so we'll have a uh, McConnell could give me an investigation check, please. <laughs> bro, what are my rolls tonight, bro? Loser, there's You're a, a loser. There's a bunch of uh, melted metal, there's some sparking energy coming from the center of this. You don't see too much that's actually going to be particularly useful, uh, but you notice a little bit of a beeping light. You could tear it out just to prevent this thing from doing anything else in the future. I tear it out. I tear it out. All right. You now have a little flashy gem thing. This is a very, very tiny bit of weird circuitry. It's Ooh. not going to be, um, it's not going to be uh, too much, but you can see the rest of it kind of just sits there completely motionless. There's no more sparking energy. It's not going to be going anywhere anytime soon. Can I observe nice. my surroundings? Yes. Uh, go ahead and give me a perception check. And, uh, we'll, we'll see what the others are doing. Why are you so excited about that? It's a, an OOC question, but did McConnell just pocket a tracking device? I mean, he can't tell no me idea. that. We have no idea. It to me and everybody has to be quiet. I will just be quiet. I just must know. But I love what you're thinking. Like this is uh, this is awesome That's stuff. That's awesome. You can, um, look at when you guys inspect the loot with each other. If you guys share, awesome. Oh. A twenty-one. Uh, you're gonna glance around you. You notice a couple things. Uh, to your side, there are a bunch of bones. These are bones of a hobgoblin that was slain here. <gasps> Looking carefully at it, you can see some of the bro uh, some of the bones are just shattered. With a twenty-one, you'd be able to realize that those were probably because something much larger had continued to beat the body after it was down uh it looked like it was uh this 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 thing did not die too long ago but the judging by the indentations in the soil around it some of the cracked rocks some of the scars on on the cave wall uh there was a pretty bad fight and this thing did not meet a very pretty end next to you you also see something that looks like snail shells large thick, and somewhat iridescent Ooh. nail shells. It looks like okay. a smaller version of that so-called truffle dragon, that gigantic magical snail that nearly killed you at one time, uh, and is now being held for safekeeping among the Mykonid circle of Grub Grub. And off to the distance, with your perception, you can hear the trickling of some type of water. 
I can, I, I, I'll, I'll give you the direction. Down this way, you can tell that it's some waters. You let your ears do some of the work. Around this area, there are no, there's no enemies walking around or anything of the sort. This area right here is safe for now. And I think that's what you would get with a 21. What condition is the skull in? Uh, the skull is uh, now just bones. Uh, it doesn't have any serious uh, like wounds on it. Like it didn't die due to like blunt head trauma. Uh, you could you could take the skull if you would like. The rest of the bones, however, are not looking pretty. Uh, not looking yeah, pretty. I'm, I'm gonna take the skull. I'll take the skull. All right, you take one goblin skull. It is now uh, something you're going to have in your inventory very shortly. And while you're uh, while you're taking a look there and kind of getting a hint of your surroundings. I'm going to bring it back uh, to Craig, Tortimus, and uh, and the others. Uh, so you guys were glancing at something, and you would see this, because anything you can see on the map is, uh, is fair game. There's another one of those sentries there. And I think you guys would not need to make an additional perception check. You guys know that there were some sounds of work happening around this area. How would you like to proceed? What is like the sentry's like cone of vision? Like, is it looking downwards right now? Ah, or is it looking up? That's a good question. This one AOE. is looking right here. It is. It's an AOE, yes, but it's currently not facing with you guys. But it does have very enhanced senses, as you guys did see mm -hmm. before in the uh, in episode four <laughs> when we resumed the campaign. Heck. Yeah. Heck. What? I'm wondering if you might be able to uh, disguise yourself for about a moment. I don't know. Can I? I'm wondering if maybe you could be the blue orange zappy boy and maybe we can get some information from this sentry over here. Okay. Why? Well, okay, I got what a can possibly idea. go wrong? Why does he kick? <laughs> Disguise themselves as a giant rock wall and stand in the way so we can sneak past. I, well, I mean, that's actually pretty smart. That, that could also be a living work. being. It can't be a rock. I mean, you're you made useless. that illusionary wall last time. Hey, there was a rock wall boss in Final Fantasy IX. You want me to be a rock? That's, you're kind of. You're. Are you useless? You're useless. You Let's have the penguin. It. You're dumb. Um, what? <laughs> Okay. I'm trying Again, to help you out. Choices bro. are hard. I'm trying to help you out. Bro. We could maybe get some information here, but we also don't know if they, like, what, 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 if they even communicate. So maybe it's it's probably more risky that way. So maybe we just stick to the wall. But what if that's the direction we need to go? We have to take care of this little sentry unit. Wait, Rodney. Yeah. Uh, RJ and Edna, do you think they would blend in with this? These, these sentry unit? It's kind of robotic in nature. Uh, and not, I don't know. My my Edna and RJ are like, you know, old tech. I don't really know if it blend in with this. Oh, okay. I could throw like a javelin at it. You want me to javelin this thing? No, no, no don't. Don't waste the resources. There's Wait. some big bones over there. Why? You could just pick it back up. Well, if, what's the point of throwing it to distract it? If you're going to pick it back up, it's going to bite you. No, i throw it to kill it. He oh. shot the other one. He shot the other one. Why don't you just shoot that one, too? Just shoot this one. I mean, I guess you, you could do that as well. Most of our problems have been solved by shooting this. What's going to stop this one, you know? The rest of our problems were solved by the Honda element. We can also try to be very, very quiet. With spacious mid-size capacity. <laughs> <laughs> you guys aren't even getting any. Okay. Fine. What if we just try to sneak past it? Okay. I can make a wall. Okay. Are you serious? Okay. You can make, I told you. <laughs> I told you the wall idea. As, I as, a, as a hippo, I'm extremely <laughs> sneaky, okay? We'll be fine. 
Why don't we just build a wall out of rocks? Slowly guys, over the course of the next couple hours. Yeah, what? Guys, we can, we can just I've go around. Where are you? We I've got go an idea. Around. I've got Where an are idea. You? Oh, what? I'm is going he? to recoil oh. in, into my shell, and you guys are going to kick me out into the open. It's going to lure the sentry unit to, to a closer proximity, and then you guys all jump on it. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. We can just go around. There, you've, already been you've already been kicked. <laughs> Jordanus has already been kicked by dirt. <laughs> I'm not even in my shell yet! I'm sorry! Ah! How are you sliding then? I'm on. Well, I'm not inside my shell, but I'm on my back now. I'm prone on oh, the ground. Sorry! I, I thought you back. said kick you! No, that's not what I. Ah! Okay. Um. Uh, so McCarl uh, comes back from me. <laughs> Because I think you guys actually should have shared vision. Uh, of course, like you can always click on your character to know exactly what you guys actually see. But yep, it's oh, a lot better from a production point of view. Yep. What is this thing? This thing is cool as hell. It's a it's what's his face from, from Star before. Wars that has all the arms. General Grievous. Yeah. General <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's a guys, it's a sword guys. being powered. Oh, this is so freaking cool. I'm, I'm trying to whisper and not like alert, but I'm in my, I'm getting into my shell. And I'm I'm gonna uh uh I I'm trying to freaking flip my pretend you're a rock. I'm trying to pretend you're really I'm a rock. good at it. There's a lot of things over here, you know. Oh. It's more than just a sentry unit. It's the stuff that we had encountered before. Although there's one oh. creature that I don't think we've seen before, and he he's got like four swords. Okay. McConnell told me, and I oh, whispered and, and me an what's, idea. what's coming closer, guys? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> McConnell, uh, McConnell I cast major an image over wall. us, and we're a rock. Put up, put okay, up, go put ahead and drop major guys, image. Guys, he's coming closer. I can't move my mouse. Hold on. Uh, no, it's all good. You just click on the major image, and there you go. Perfect. So around here, you're going to gonna form a magical rock. Uh, to obscure your party and allow them to be perfectly hidden, leaving Hortimus outside. And you're so and he you're looks prone. like a rock, right? It's, well, it's a so, so Hortimus is prone and he just went to his shell, right? Right. Yes. Well, I guess we'll see what's about to happen. All right. So you Tormus. can't tell me this guy just looks at an encyclopedia of turtles. Like all day long and knows what they look like. Oh, I, I don't think I don't think uh, I don't think the constructs have any access to Wikipedia. But um, you guys are gonna be able to see this. Uh, you guys have a you guys are protected by this uh, magical image film that's blocking off this path as far as this creature is confer is concerned. Now, this doesn't get right next to Tortibus, who is prone and in his shell. Yeah. Can I just? walk up it's gonna approach in and make some strange mechanical sounds it begins to beep it's like a 56k modem <laughs> trying to connect to america online Ooh. we'll walk around before letting out a slightly louder almost like a honk Be... Oh, <laughs> that's too good. You see, some more things are going to start to wheel out and come directly toward towards my tournaments. You can sense that there's a there's a bunch of things approaching you. Uh, what yes. Are you, what are you What are you doing at this at, at this exact moment? I am trying to be very quiet. I am a rock. All right. You can try to stay as still as possible you're gonna reach into some of your sorceric magic and all that was instinctual to you all the magic you had without having to train nearly as much as wizards and artificers or even monks you're gonna try to meditate and become one with the rocks around you could you give me a stealth check please Come on, 
creatures begin to chitter among each other. Each other. They're, they're convinced that you are alive. But they don't think you're a threat. One of them begins to poke you. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use trigger spores as a reaction to them poking me. All right. So um, you always have your, store, your spore totem ready to go. It's just like it's like an item that you just kind of have, and you can choose a target, and it's going to come as a reaction. So uh, are you choosing the one that's poking you? Uh. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. All Wait, right. can I do that while prone or like in my shell? Yes. Uh, this okay. is a reaction, and as we'll say, we don't know exactly what direction you're in, but you could possibly just like throw it out from your shell because like your hands are still inside. It's just your skeleton you know uh like outside your body that's it uh so you mm -hmm. could potentially just quickly throw out a uh a totem as it explodes to make it look like a burst of spores because i'm assuming your character is trying to pretend to be like a not humanoid creature uh so i think you're experienced enough as a uh as a sorcerer in this world to be able to do something like that so you can go ahead okay. and trigger that uh and just choose an effect um you can choose that its speed can be halved you can have less ac oh. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Whoa. There we go. Now we have a little shroom. Okay, that's sick. All right. I like that little aura. Yes, it is now spored. Uh, and um, actually, no, it takes all the effects. You don't have to choose. Perfect. This is uh, this is one of your new alt level 5.5 abilities. So cool. This... I wanted to use it once. I yes. Did it. Yeah. This is a this is an awesome way to introduce this to the rest of your party and to our viewers. This is a, a beautiful bit. Now, this one's gonna let out some more warning beeps as the others will just kind of rush forward to the uh, you can hear it behind you. Uh, this construct is rearing up its blades before letting them down. It seems like this creature is inorganic and thus, while it's under the effect of what you've just produced, it doesn't really see whether or not it is hostile now you guys can mm. all see this from behind the rock they're all distracted which means they're not trying to make any investigation checks against Keck's illusion the sentry is going to start flying away well it'll get about to hear while the other construct reaches down and is going to try to pick you up with help from its friend. Is there anything you'd like to do in response, Tortivus? <sighs> uh, am I able to see if there's like any sort of energy emanating from these blades or from this this creature right here hmm so we'll assume your hands were facing this way yeah oh you were able to use this force so i don't think you're gonna be able to actually see too much but you can probably hear something okay uh shoot Is, is are the blades coming in onto me, or is he like just trying to grab me? Oh, so uh, the blade. Dude, or do I just hear? Yeah, you just hear it. It's just getting ready. It's just like in a ready stance to attack if it needs to. The other okay. two constructs are the ones that are lifting you up right now. Okay, I am going to chill. Right now. Oh wait. Yep, 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 yep. Mm, can I do press pristi? <laughs> uh, prestige, digitation, that prestige, prestige. I can't say it. I don't know. My brain is hurting. Yep. Can I do that while in my shell? 
Yes, you actually can. Oh. Okay. I am going to warm. It says you can chill, warm, or flavor up, up one cubic foot of non-living material for one hour. They're non-living material, right? Can you make an arcana check, please? So, the crystalline bodies are indeed alive. They're woven together with something, and this kind of comes back to what Keck was sharing with you guys a little bit earlier, that this is phase three of an experiment. It's been, there is a myconid core on the inside of this mm. creature mixed with some kind of magical regent that's just growing these crystals as it absorbs some magic for the environment around it. Not quite undead, it's, but it's not quite not alive, if that makes sense. So you're pretty confident that wouldn't work and may blow your cover. Oh, okay. <clears throat> this is going to probably be stupid, but I want to create a non-magical trinket or an illusor, a, a lus illusory image. Okay, yes. And what would you like to do with it? I want to, how big, it only fits in my hand, so it's going to be small, right? Yep. Uh, I want to make an image of the junior figure. Like a little tiny mini junior. Yes, a tiny mini junior. Perfect. You know, have this in your hand. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm yep. going to say... Can, can I, like, pretend it's talking or whatever? Um, it's currently inside your shell. Uh, oh. so you won't be able to see it, but you have it in your hand. But you can, like, you can let go of it. It will stay, it'll stay, like, physically there for a while. Uh, you can have up to three effects enabled with precedentation. Yes, yeah, you can have three of these non-instantaneous effects uh, there at any given time. So you could put it out. You could try to, you could try to do something weird about it. Totally up to you. Uh, yeah, I wanted creative. to, like, exit my shell. All right, you're going to emerge from your shell as a uh, as a full human creature with this uh, thing in your hand. Uh, did I get that right? Oh, I I meant just oh I you meant like... just the, the 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 illusion would just get out of the shell. I'm still like in there, like just my hand sticks out maybe or something. Ah, uh, I see. So you're trying to have it like come out of you. Okay, I see. I would say okay. That's a that's definitely a little bit less aggro. And you're gonna make it make some noises. You said. Well, I was. Not yet. I just wanted its presence to be seen. All right. They definitely noticed the presence. And this thing's just going to kind of wheel off to the side a little bit. And we'll say that little uh, mini junior is the figure that you have. Yes. Uh, just being held and propped out of your things. Uh, the other two are going to continue hoisting you up. So now you're just in the air. You're no longer in the ground. Uh, they're not trying to hurt you. They seem to just yeah. be trying to cart you off somewhere. Uh, but they do seem to be looking at this and making more of those chittering de la cell noises Ooh, not prone anymore <clears throat> uh <laughs> i'm going to whisper feed me all right uh so the moment you see this uh they the they emit some other sound and now it seems like the sentry is coming back. Seems like they, uh, they're they trying to make something out of you. Now, you guys can see what's happening in front of you. I don't think you're going to be able to hear that because I'm assuming that was relatively quiet. It was more try to just like... Yeah, it was just like a, you. just them, yeah. Yeah, so uh, Rodney, Keck, McConnell, Craig, Dirt, uh, what would you like to do? You're witnessing them... Uh, lifting Tortimus and now they're uh, now they're staring at this figure that's appeared. You guys can see all of this through the illusion because you know it's there. What would you guys like to do? I'm not saying shit. Yeah, Dirt's mm. just kind of watching. <laughs> let him cook. Let him cook. Let him cook. Yeah, I, I'm, Rodney's on board with the let him cook. 
All right. All right, let's see what this dumbass yeah, gets himself in. Him. I'm so dead. <laughs> <Whatever>. <laughs> I just want to see. Apple. We want to see. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Well, what do you want to do? What does Keck want to do? I'm kind of stuck here because I'm, I mean, I'm just reading what I have to do here to keep this image. So you're going to be, a, you're gonna, so you're taking, you're going to be a coward as well? No, I just. Uh, you know what would have been maybe, really OP here? Yeah, I will. Maybe I'll push you out of my fucking image here and have you, I don't know, aggro everybody. That hey, would be got, pretty fucking I, I heroic. Can, Craig could take all those on. When Craig had hey, that. Keck kicks Craig out of the image. Oh, <laughs> Wait, no, 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 uh, dude, guys. Don't, don't. <laughs> Hold on. Say you're JK. Oh, uh, Say you're dude, JK. Hey, Riku, JK. Riku, Riku, that felt OOC. <laughs> Riku, that felt OOC, what Harun is doing we'll right now. We'll talk about this post, 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 post sesh, guys. I'm post telling you what I'm feeling on Post sesh drama. Point. What was OP? I want to hear what was OP. Bravo. Good for you. Yeah, there was a, a uh, there were meme about kicking Craig out of the illusion, but, uh, but it seems like the general consensus is to let him cook as, uh, as, He's surrounded by these uh, these enemies. Yeah, fuck it. All right. All right. So, uh, Tormus, you can see that they there's this uh, there you're holding this figure, and this construct is going to poke it with one of its swords. What would you what would you like to do? <clears throat> the sentry's really close to it as well. Uh. It's gonna to try to poke the illusion. Now I don't quite know, but if an illusion is like attacked or something, does it just disappear or does it just face through it? Ah, uh, so for prestidigitation, I are you so you specifically created in, in uh, a little tiny little mini illusion, or did you create a non-magical trinket? Because you can choose either illusory image or a trinket. I don't know what a trinket would do to make it look like. Would it just make it more of like a physical presence? Yes, versus... a. Trinket would be a physical object, an illusory image. You can be more creative, but you don't actually need to physically create something in your hand because you said that you wanted to hold it in your hand, right? And uh, and stick it out there. Yeah. So you could make this a trinket or an illusory image. They both have advantages and they both have disadvantages. Uh. I think I'll keep it as an illu uh, illusory image. All right. Physical interaction with the image will reveal it to be fake. But for some reason, you don't think that's really frightening any of these creatures. In fact, they seem to start to uh, chirp a little bit more. And you can notice that you're, you're, uh, you're currently being carried. Say that we'll move that little uh, mini illusion with you. We'll say mm -hmm. they just carry you about fifteen feet. All right. Anything else you guys would like to do, guys? I'm gonna whisper this, but guys, they're taking off with them. Wait, did, did they did they take him that far and then put him down, or are they still just carrying him? Somewhere? Oh, they're still carrying him. <laughs> God, uh, <laughs> just going without me, guys. I cleared the path. I mean, thanks, seems... dude. Yeah, that's kind of awesome, actually. Uh, I mean, not really. These their mobs are still standing there. All right, all right. Well, okay. maybe if you'd listen to me, I said we could have gone around. No, you guys want Craig to save the day like always. All right. We can't Craig's let them pick take up. Our guys, friend. you don't have to. You guys don't have to. Craig is going to pick I, up a small him, little rock. Are there small rocks around here that I can pick up? No, fuck it. He's dead. Let him die. Can I pick, <laughs> hold, can I pick up a small <laughs> rock? You would want that, wouldn't I you? I pick up a small rock. He's dead. Craig picks up a small rock Big. off the ground, and he throws it at this wall right here. Nice throw. All right. right there. Can you roll for your throw? Yeah, what kind of check is that? All right, so Religion? I think this is a this is a. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, oh God. That's funny. That's funny. Put my faith in God. Good thing you're throwing. This. All right. Yeah. So this is a little bit of a long shot, and you're trying to you're trying to basically get over their field of vision mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. distract them, basically. Oh yeah. 
And let's go see how far away this is. It's 45. 50. 45. Yeah. 45, 50-ish around there. Okay. I think you have yeah. enough strength to get there. Oh, but yeah, I think I the big thing here is going to be whether you can show us some dexterity. But specifically, how about <laughs> sleight of hand? Because there is Ooh. a little bit of a... There's a little bit of a... It's like, there's a little bit of a, you know, roguish charm happening over here. So you want me to do a sleight, sleight of hand, hand check? He doesn't always need to be using for stealing people and robbing people. Sometimes it can help people. Go ahead and make a sleight oh, of yeah. hand check. Oh, yeah. You guys ready for this? Hey, Tortimus. Uh -huh. you, you can do it. Hey, Why? Tortimus. Oh. You ready to be fucking <laughs> saved right here, buddy? Uh, oh, see. Dude, let's see it. Burn, you ready for me to save your ass? Oh, boom! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Nice. And Very... Man, even with those buffs. And yeah. just... <laughs> That's like a... That is a uh, 5 up to a 12. So just like if this were pickpocketing, we're just finding another use uh, for the skill because... Sleight of hand is not just dexterity, it's also situational awareness, and it's a little bit of a good cognitive faculties. We're going to have this thing make a perception check to contest. Ooh. That's one. Uh. Uh. Eleven is very close. Uh. And, well, this one is technically not able to use reactions. It's not an action. Nah, I think we're going to have to have it roll. I believe. not be able to do much about it. All right, because I got to be fair. You guys did ask me to do that, to not go <clears throat> easy. Let's I changed it. my mind. Go easy. <laughs> no, go, don't do it. Go it. Go for it. All go right. hard. Gamba. Let's see where the dice roll. Oh! What is I that? I love meets it, beats it. I fucking hate. Such yeah. A stupid. Meets it, beats it. See ya. See you guys. <laughs> see ya. I, I hate meets it, beats it. I've it's always hated it. Dude. It's pretty, it, it's pretty rough. I can't stand, stand it. <laughs> but oh, uh, boo the, the rock goes arching out and hits it. Now, this... um. <laughs> This construct is primed and ready to go, and you can see that this thing will just launch toward the wall. Oops, I'm in a, uh, I'm in, um, I'm in uh, in manual mode. It's gonna, it's just gonna dash forward suddenly, and with four of its, uh, these little like swords, it's gonna slash the wall. One, two, three, four, just attack after attack after attack, just destroying whatever made that noise. It just didn't stop, didn't think. It slashed first, and it's not gonna Don't. ask questions later because it doesn't give a fuck. It just immediately went to the rock and just attacked it. Mm -hmm. This spark crunch didn't really understand what was going on, but this one did. <gasps> Someone is nearby. <laughs> no, they aren't. Oh my gosh, where did you <laughs> Oh, you really went. He's <laughs> instantly runs. He's <laughs> in sprinted. So you Now... This creature is going to have to make a decision. It's going to stop for a quick second, and it's going to try to communicate, giving you guys some time to react. Uh, Keck, McConnell, Dirt, Rodney, you guys saw Craig just be just dip out of there after throwing that rock. <laughs> what, what would you like to do? You guys, they're going to kill him. <laughs> I don't know where God. everybody's going. Yes, I'm sir. not going to leave my friend behind. Junior, uh, you need to go find cover. No way. Guys, are you so uh, kidding me, dude? What's going God. on? Uh, Jared, uh, wait, wait, I wait, don't think there's time do, for a conversation. Wait, can I do an earthen grasp? Or would that require me to get out of my shell? and stuff? Uh, Because when you're in your shell, you're not supposed to be able to do too many actions. The precipitation was more of just like a pre-cantrip type of thing. I don't okay. think you'll be able to cast any actual spells when you're inside your shell. Wait, okay. where did everybody go? Junior, I need you to go go back and hide. Dad's got business to settle. Why, you fools? As uh, as Junior uh, reluctantly is going to move and he's going to glance back at you one time, just nervously. He's going gonna... to look at Rodney. Why? Rodney? Yeah. 
I guess it's just you and me now as he starts to puff up. Oh no, he's monologuing. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are dead. Dur takes the scythe off of his back. Don't oh, worry, Tortimus. I'm coming. Oh, God. Ew. What? How do you have time for that? <laughs> How come we're splitting up after the guy literally told us to stay together? <laughs> it's a truck did we're literally that. leaving Tortimus. <laughs> okay, going out of character. We can't let him take him away. Bro. They're going to take they him into some work kind of weird, like, right, so crystal we creature sex chamber. The other thing I'm thinking is that they're going to... Him. I was thinking they were going to break his shell open, you know, with those pickaxes, and then he would just be <laughs> naked for the rest of the thing, and it'd be funny. <laughs> feel like oh, a Mr. Krabs. Do you yeah. see how big the map is? Like, there's so many fucking more mobs. <laughs> well, maybe if we had shot this sentry and gotten rid of the sentry, that nobody would know that we're fighting these th three or four here, and we could just fight them. Or they maybe... Win. Oh, my God. Okay, whatever. Nah, I don't know. These other mobs are, like, right here. They would have... Well, they would have had to roll, probably. Yep, there would no have been some, uh... Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, happens, like... Though. This guy wouldn't tell everybody else in the cave, is what I'm saying. All right, fuck it. I'm charging out. Well, I'm right beside you then. <laughs> Guys! Oh my god. Jeez. What a bunch right, of here we go. Ah! This is not the way. This you is stole not my the way. Bunch of idiots. What are you doing? Sword raised. Right. Now, hold on a second. You paladins I was I, I was the one who was going to run in first. And you literally Craig, ran exactly oh, where I Craig needed to be. Okay, okay. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Craig, right. who was up here, Listen, no, you're right. through the fucking wall. No, you're right, you're right. You're Craig, right. Just, <laughs> Craig, I can't I'm only, I'm only saying that because this is... <laughs> of course you can't. <laughs> <There's another room. laughs> Craig breaks through man. the fucking wall, <laughs> blowing up Rodney in the process. Style. That is fucking cool. Yeah. <laughs> McCall, I only say that because of Sentinel. No, take and because your, take your because of these no, 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 two. No, 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 no. no. I take just take your moment. Just take. That's it. it. That's all I want is to just walk take, out here and initiate moment. combat. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, take your moment. <laughs> all right. The moment you come out, you can hear the sentry lets out a great ping that echoes across the caverns. You can oh, feel God. it echoing, getting deeper, getting deeper, and getting Ooh. deeper. Ding. And just as these creatures start to roll initiative. Wait, they're busy still holding me, right? I think that's where we're gonna call the session for today. Bro. Oh! Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. Can I have can I have my one last final moment? Yes, here? you can definitely have your moment. Let me do it. Zoom in on Craig. We're zoomed on Zoomed Craig. in on Craig. Zooms in on Craig. Oh, do Zoom you want the creepy that. music? Do you want the creepy music back or? No, this is fine. This is fine. Oh, this, is dope. this is dope. Craig is Craig is in this room. Jeez, that was close. Thank God we ran away, guys. Uh-oh. That's it. That's it. He thought everyone ran with him. <laughs> <laughs> Why is your character so dumb? <laughs> the dream state made him stupider, man. <laughs> he's <laughs> ac he's actually plus oneing. And he's going, guys? <laughs> guys? <laughs> he's staggering our damage. This is going to work out for our uh, benefit. Well, he's going to break through that fucking wall, dude. I want to be honest, I kind of wanted to see where they were going to take me, but then I was thinking I was going to get experimented on. Uh, That's kind that of what is... I was thinking too, which would be cool. Yeah. That could have been a very interesting, uh, we go into a, uh, a little bit of a split campaign, uh, Burn and I do a little bit one-on-one, -on -one, like survival horror while the rest try to find him. I think that could have been a really cool development, but I don't know if that's what Tortimus would want. <laughs> no, I, I was also going to try to communicate with the image, but I failed. Bro, yeah. if you guys had listened to me, there was a fucking teleporter. Is that what that is? Yes, <laughs> Oops. dude. Oops. Yeah, there was a. Uh, you did see that those rooms. I, I guess you guys did see it when you guys can always up. retreat. Yep. That. Is, there you go. Burn <laughs> with the big. Uh, the big. Uh, uh, the big brain play. Uh, when all stratagems fail, a uh, retreat is always an option. The 36. Craig's already <laughs> over there. But <laughs> Craig takes the teleporter and continues the entire yeah, And some of himself. you aren't even. Yeah, some of you aren't even in combat yet. I mean, we'll retreat, but then Craig busts through the wall and initiates on his own. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cool. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah. yeah. Craig found a flamethrower. <laughs> Let's do this, bitches. Yeah. <laughs> I love that DM Cooley Man broke. 
but yeah, uh, we had a lot of good progress today. I think there was some uh, there was some character conflict, there's some character development. Uh, uh, we got to this map. That was uh, that was really cool. It's, uh, it's been a <laughs> We're not on the other map. map. The whole map. We left the other map. Yeah. Yeah. We did the, it. Yeah. Six months. Six months, Yay! yeah. That, that, we got a lot of mileage out of that uh, <laughs> that little mushroom maze, uh, which is from uh, Shay and Peku. They are a uh, they make a lot of D and D maps. Some of the ones you've seen on this campaign uh, are all from them. So please check them out, by the way, if you're interested uh, in uh, in running. So they they integrate with all the VTTs uh, like Foundry, which is what we're using. Uh, you can use in Roll Twenty. You can even just have the images, and you can just stare at the images. Uh, you can just look at the images. You can be like, that's a very pretty map. If I was if I was on this map, I would I would go around that corner and I'd be I'd really like this uh this this fucking skeleton thing. Uh, so go go check it out. They're they, they're on Patreon. Really really cool guys. But uh, I, I I do hope you guys uh, uh I hope you guys have a plan though. I hope so too. Plans don't exist for us. <sighs> we never do anything right, dude. Well, why do you say that, McConnell? Because the right thing to do. Is is literally uh, they listen to me, and we just we win the campaign. Oh my god, that's right, you know the what? right thing to do. This guy I only will cares listen about to the you. W. I'll listen to you next w. session. You know what? We'll see how it goes. <laughs> I thought that was like a character trait, but it's all OC. But but listen, okay. But listen, we're how many? Listen, I think we're like eight episodes in. Right, uh, and we've nine, done, yeah. This we've was the end of the ninth. Three maps. Yeah, yeah this is uh, three very big maps. Uh, so very, very. Be on this map for three episodes. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that one's up to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was definitely up to you guys. Uh, if we find any weird thing uh, for you guys to get high off, then uh, it'd be uh, you. you hey, uh, do you want to try smoking the sledgehammer, Craig? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna crush sm Tortimus up with pickaxes and smoke him. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's going to be naked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you see, I think over nine sessions, you guys have seen five different maps. That was, uh, that, that, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And one of them was like a home base. You guys created a home base with a bunch of uh, marketing people. I think you guys should be very proud. Is that really a home base? We almost got kicked out like pretty easily at the end there. I mean, it's a, it was a little bit of an RP moment. Well, I wanted to see what they were, gonna what you guys were going to kind of do. Dude, God, we I were about to day, like slaughter do. the entire, all the mushroom people. I was we, kill some we... Mushrooms, yeah. okay. If they would have attacked us, you obviously would have helped. After you asked nicely, I'm not asking nicely for anything. Then I'd sit back and watch. We almost had to prostitute out of the skittering horror. Oh my God, my son, <laughs> the skittering I'm... horror, as we call it, my him. baby. Yeah, no, it's, uh, you guys did a handle of things. I think, uh, hopefully you guys got some interesting more information. And, uh, well, we'll see what happens, uh, when it, or when or if, uh, you find the other goblins, uh, or, uh, or if something else happens, you guys could always retreat and go back home. You leave Tortimus to his own devices. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's D&D, &D. you can do everything you want.